Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. This telecast is copyrighted by Hometown 24 for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or retransmission of this game without the express written consent of Hometown 24 is prohibited. Brought to you by Bank of Hindman, Thacker Grigsby, Hyden Citizens Bank, Isom IGA, ARH, Bluegrass Sports Nation, TVS and HT24plus.com. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Prairie Center on the campus of Alice Lloyd College. We have college basketball for you today as Indiana University Southeast travels down for about five miles across the river from Louisville, Kentucky, all the way to Pippa Pass as they will take on the Lady Eagles of Alice Lloyd. Two games today, doubleheader, ladies game will be first, and following it about 20 minutes, we'll have the men's game. Manus Blair, Dave Adams, and all the crew here at Hometown with you on this Tuesday, and glad to be here for college basketball. We have games in the area, and we'll try to keep you up to date with them. I understand a good girls game across the hill as Perry and Letcher will be playing. We'll try to check that score, Manus. Kentucky playing South Carolina, Alice Lloyd in a big game with IU, so we got good action. It's basketball season. It is. In full blown, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, cold, snowy, but melting Kentucky. <laughs> Absolutely. And Pippa Pass. And Pippa Pass. You can't beat Pippa Pass. We should have a decent crowd on hand for tonight. The student body is on campus, so I uh, expect the uh, the crowd to keep uh, getting more in as the game goes along as they will make their way in. Usually these two teams, when they play, it is a good basketball game, so I don't expect anything else. Uh, can you give us any information, Manus, about these two teams that you have uh, uh, been looking at? You have kind of mentioned you've been studying them a little bit. Well, so I was watching, uh, watching as uh, playing with my dog and got to realizing, man, I got to get in the shower and meet David Adams. <laughs> and I was watching one of their last games. I believe it was the Simons game. And yeah, and they're a, they're, they're a smaller team, very good team from the uh, perimeter. Oh yeah, always. Uh, when I when you start looking at some of the players, Liam Miller's averaging twelve point nine, uh, Carly Sweeney's averaging thirteen point seven, and those are the two two people that. The Alice Lloyd Lady Eagles will have to pay particular attention to them. They're, they're, they usually play 2-1-2. Two, two. They have a little bit of trouble rebounding, and this comes from their commentators and, and someone that's watched them every single game. Right. Uh, have a little bit of trouble finishing around the goal, but those girls that are in double figures, they are very good at shooting the basketball. Uh, pretty much they have struggled in some regards. Uh, their record is six and ten, uh, three and six on the road, four and four uh, in the conference, or, or excuse me, three and six in the conference, four and four on the road. But uh, as you can see, when we're looking out over there, you know, pretty much every girl about the same size. They are, and uh, IU normally uh, has a good shooting team, a team that shares the basketball, and they play hard. They're, they've got a very good coach down there in Robin Ferris. He's not here tonight. Robin is uh, 
uh, homesick, and we're going to say hello to him. If he's watching in, we'll try to holler at him again later on in the game. Uh, he does a great job there at IU. He's been there for a long time, and uh, he's got a good program. And uh, usually if he brings seven kids, they play hard, or if he brings 12 kids, they play hard. So does a great job for IU. Let you know that the, in, in I echo and I send prayers out to uh, Coach Ferris. Hope he's getting getting to feel better and everything. And uh, as you know, they are a very young team. As you look down the roster, you see zero seniors. Right. And so uh, maybe a transition year and uh, and probably trying to find their legs as any team does in the in the month of January. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, this lead, uh, as I found out from Coach Mills, uh, Manus, I don't know if a lot of uh, people in the area know this, but uh, KIAC went to the three River States Conference, and now Alice Lloyd will only have one more year uh, with that conference as they will be leaving. So uh, we'll find out more about that as we go. And uh, Yeah, because they've been there since two, what, uh, 2016 yeah. in the River State yeah. Conference. And uh, yeah. I, I know that just recently, Ohio Christian and Point Park uh, were leaving the conference as well. So big turnover as far as that goes. You know, if, if you're in a conference and you go on a trip, like Coach Mills, Coach Cornett this past weekend, seven airs one way. One way, seven airs. You stay overnight, you play a game, and... and it's seven hours back, and it's tough. It's tough. It's tough lead, and they, yep. and you just have to deal with every how you have to deal with it. But uh, the college here, great facilities, will have no trouble getting what they want. I'm sure they've uh, they've got a good program here, and uh, you can contribute that to the hard work of Coach Cornett, Coach Mills, and also the administration here. Uh, the and president. the donors. Yeah. And the donors of the college. Uh, absolutely. It's, uh, they've got anything that you'd want to be offered to be in a conference. A bit different facility than you and I. With I had the Grady Nut, <laughs> and let me tell you, I enjoyed shooting the ball in Grady Nut. It was a lot of fun. Make or miss. <laughs> make or miss. And John Mills would tell you, make or miss, I would shoot it, too. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's take a break, and we'll be back to the Prairie Center. We'll have the starting lineups and women's basketball action coming up stay with us no matter what town or community you live in there's a tim short dealership nearby that's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout eastern kentucky our employees are your friends and neighbors helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of tim short dealerships our entire inventory 606-785-3158 TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Coming to you from the Perry Center on the campus of Alice Lloyd College. Alice Lloyd taking on Indiana Universe Southeast. And not a bad trip for them, Manus. Uh, they live just across the river, about five or six miles from Louisville. About three and a half hours. Yeah, not a bad trip. Go across so. the river before Kentucky started their lottery, and you go over into Indiana and park That's your right. car. Right, absolutely. <laughs> and make your bed. I, absolutely. I, I hope my mom and dad's not listening to this right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, the all A getting underway tomorrow, I would think. Yeah. Right around the corner, we've got to do it. 
Listen, we're going to uh, take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups. I want you to stay with us. We've got a good basketball game in line for you. Stay with us here on Hometown 24. Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head-to-head with big injuries. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing... Welcome back uh, to the Prairie Center here at Al Sloyd and Minus... Looking forward to this game. The last game we covered with Al Floyd, I thought Moore shot the ball extremely well out of Floyd Central, and also Migert out of Knott Central. And I thought Banks come in, even though she's just getting started back, give them some quality minutes. Yep. And uh, for Indiana Southeast, number five, sophomore guard Jesse Ledgerwood. Number 20, freshman forward Katie Durbin. 22, Leah Miller, junior guard. Number 23, junior guard, Carly Sweeney. And freshman forward, Lindsey Werner. And as we said, Indiana Southeast is six and 10 on the season. Now for your home standing, the Alice Lloyd College Lady Eagles, nine and nine on the season, coached by Mr. John Mills. First, number two, freshman guard, Abby Maggard. Number four, freshman forward, Jamie Cowan. Number 14, senior forward, Maddie Thompson. And number 22, senior guard, Riley Shrek. And last but not least, number 20, senior guard, Hannah Cash. Cash, a big player for Alice Lloyd. Uh, very experienced, fifth year senior, shoots it well and does, does all the little things. Yep. Big game, last game against St. Mary's. She had 27 points and six assists. Big game by Riley Shrek. Probably her best game of the season. She had 14 in the loss at St. Mary's. Very important, I think, for IU to have low turnovers and really get it going by hitting some open looks and uh, staying in the game because Alice Lloyd is very capable. They have shooters and they put a lot of points on the board. Anytime you've got a girls basketball team that shoots 33% from the three-point line, you got to go out and guard them on the line. As the tip goes up and Ledgerwood will retain it for IU Southeast. Looks like the Eagles will start out in the man defense. Durbin gets it over to uh, Ledgerwood. And Leah Miller outside with screen and roll. 10 on the shot clock. Goes inside off the backboard and it goes in for Werner. Yeah, very, yeah, very fundamentally sound there. Went right off the glass with the shot and that's how you do it. 
Worked the shot clock down David Adams and got the right yep. shot as Maggard shoots the deep three and it's off. Rebound's gonna come down to Durbin. Got a good look, just a little too strong on that one. Sweeney to the go, goes up, nowhere to go and they're gonna call a walk. Got too deep, went down, nobody in the corner to receive the basketball and uh, only had one thing to do with it. Nobody stepped to her, David Adams. No, they did out. not. Two three matchup by IU as they will match up strong when the basketball comes to play. Running the motion offense uh, with Thompson on the baseline. Thompson with that jumper, it's too long. Rebound comes down to Werner. I didn't think Thompson got set there, man. I oh. thought she caught it quickly and let it go quick. Major will do the basketball. Miller likes that right side, Manus. And loses the basketball was Miller. Shrek comes up with it. Hannah Cash loses it on the crossover. Two against one. Ball's given up. And left-hand layup off the board and in for Werner. Uh, give her four. Yeah. Werner is a nice player. Use that left hand as good as the right. 4-0 start for the Grand Leafs. As Maggard shoots the shot, it comes up short, rebound comes down to Werner. Patient basketball team. Yeah, this team always is that way. Long three and it's knocked down by Sweeney. Sweeney is the other junior on the team, the veteran, and uh, she makes the Eagles pay. Seven nothing, 7.45 first quarter. Got off that bus and they're firing it. Coming Abs off the absolutely, that's the way they play. Cowan with a long three and she knocks it down. Cowan with a big bucket for the Eagles. Out of Paris, Kentucky. Pressure being pushed, placed on there by couches of the screen in the row. And the ball was a little bit high and Cowan comes up with a turnover. Advances it up to Maggard with a deep three, long. Rebound's gonna come down to Durbin. Maggard, uh, three shots so far, struggling finding the net. She's a good shooter. She'll have to settle in and just keep going. Jump shot up, just a little bit short, rebounded by Maggard. Maggard will advance up, doesn't have the odds, and she will backtrack it out. Miller, a good look down there, but a little short. Thompson throws it away. Turnover to the Eagles, and uh, Ward will come in, and Thompson will go out. Yep, Thompson uh, a turnover, and then she came down earlier and took a quick shot, I thought, and what didn't have her feet set under, her, and uh, the shot was short. Just a little bit of break and get her yeah. head under. Yeah. And somebody said Jamie Hughes is in the building and I've not seen no security anywhere. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, seven, three air score, 624. And that's gonna be a turnover as uh, we got a sub coming in for IU Southeast. And that, that will be- uh, Taylor Treat. Trent. Yeah. Treat. Yeah. That is Treat. Miss Taylor in the game. She's a hometown girl right there from New Albany, right where IU is. Pump fake, Cowan to the go, and she misses it. Rebound I, comes down to Werner. I like that play, though, Manus. Yep. She was aggressive. Ledgerwood to the go, up and misses it. Rebound comes down to Shrek. Fellas, everybody here drove. <laughs> it's a fact. I'm and kidding. Even the players drove. There's enough vehicles here for everybody here. One vehicle per person. Students on campus, and it's tough to get a spot, J.B. Hughes. That's Go exactly Pete. right. Been there and done that many a time. Man. Yeah, Moore and Banks both report in for Al Sloyd. Both of them shooters on this team, and uh, let's see if they can pick it up a little. As Maggard committed the turnover the last time for uh, Al Sloyd. Sweeney with the move, the kick out, and it's deflected by Cowan. It's still going on, and Treat returns it. Under 10 now on the shot clock. Ledgerwood's to the go, up, and missed it. Rebound's gonna come down. Cowan goes to the floor and rebounds it. 
Cash to the go. Nice look to Banks, and she lays it in. David, that's just Great. perfect, man. Drew yeah. the defense, give her the assist, passed it, and went straight up. She's the general on the team, no question. Textbook, Hannah Cash. Textbook play there, man. Double team on Sweeney. She gives it up to Durbin. Durbin loses the basketball. Katie Joe Moore, and it will be retained by the Lady Eagles. Miller will come back in the basketball game for Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood, a sophomore. Miller, a uh, junior on this team. Man, it's, it's the Lady Grenadiers. Am I saying that? You are. Close. Because I used to say it opposite, and Trevor Huff, my late friend over at the radio station, would always text me before this game and say, please don't mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> Banks threw it away. Another costly, costly turnover for Alice Lloyd. Yeah, didn't move uh, to the basketball. I tell you, both teams are having trouble hanging on to the basketball right now when they get in a crowd, especially. Takes it to the baseline. The reverse to treat with a pump fake. Gets open. Misses the shot. Ward comes down with the rebound. D.A., I like this lineup for Alice Lloyd. This gives them several options as Banks yeah. goes to the rim. Banks Moore, is, and, Moore and Cash both play on alongside yeah. Banks. It gives you three different yeah. options outside and good inside play here with these two low post players. Yeah, Banks has been getting on the block. She's been taking it to it. Uh, I mean strong when she gets it too. So. Well, she uh, filled the, the spot left by Maynard, who, of course, uh, left the team at the Christmas break. And I don't know what they'd have done without her. Yeah. Her, her wanting to come back was at the perfect time, Manus. Yes. Seven to five, our score, 412. We're at the Prairie Center on the campus of Al Lloyd College. College basketball on a Tuesday night. And she misses both. And uh, that foul was on uh, Durbin. Uh, that was also set up by a nice pass by Hannah Cash to uh, Banks. Sweeney with a basketball. Miller. Fakes, baseline cut by Treat, over back behind and missed it. Rebound comes down to Katie Jo Moore and she'll advance it up to Cash. Cash with a dribble up with a shot and knocks it down. Lee County's finest with a 10 footer. And we're tied up. Both teams went on a 7-0 and 7-0 run. Nice move, but we're off the board again and give her two. Gives her six for the game. I like her. She could, she plays well and uses the board well and strong player, good effort. Cash gives it up to Cowan and it lays it in. Another Simple. assist for Cash, man. Just draw the defense. Everybody give me your attention and I'll flip it over to my teammate. That's wide open. Cash is worth cash. She's worth for this every team. nickel and dime of this team. You're right. Moore with a strong <laughs> rebound right there. She says, don't forgive me. I'm a pretty good player. And 15th region as well. Katie Joe seems to be much more healthy. She had some ankle trouble earlier in the year, Manus, but notice today she's moving a little better. And uh, had a three on one and missed it was Miller. Cash up the other sideline and probably got away with a walk there. Cowan with a pump fake, takes it strong to the baseline up and rolls it in. Cowan's playing better here of late. Give her seven. She's really contributing to this team right now. Seven of their nine points. Who would have thought that at the beginning of the year? 11-9, their score. Playing with confidence and reckless abandon. Just continuing to rise, too, man. You can see her confidence. Long wow. three knocked down by Stapleton. Guys, I listened to you on the way over, missed the pregame, but both of you talked about the record. I felt like this was a team probably better than what their record showed. And yeah. Big shot right there to put them back up five. Pro probably uh, Coach Ferris probably gets some tough games start of the season as well. Well, a lot of folks don't realize, but I know you know this quite well. Uh, at this level, you got to play some teams to budget your program. Yeah, you, you might do. play four or five games that you pretty well knew you was going to have a tough time winning. Absolutely. But that funds your program the right. rest of the season. Looks like Banks and Ca Cash is coming out. Maggart yeah. back. No sales substitution. Yeah, yeah Thompson. Yeah. Malcolm and uh, Thompson back in for a second win as Moore is on the baseline, gives it up to Ward. Ward goes too strong to the goal, lays it up with the left hand and goes in. 
Wow, nice move there. This I'd... may be as big as Alice Lord will play, yeah. fellas. This is this is a pretty big lineup here. Left hand, great oh, move. Sweet move, yes, sir. And Star might have got away with a walk there. And that's going to be a push off, looks like, and that's going to be an offensive foul. And that was on number 15. That yes. was staple. Yeah. She did it in open court. You can get away with that in the crowd sometimes, but it's tough in the open court. Yeah, when that C referee is looking straight at it, you, uh, you just can't use that chicken wing. Ward to Thompson, she throws it out. To Maddie got to shoot that, guys. She's too good of a player. Maddie Thompson got to shoot that one. She Malcolm passed that one up. Three. 16 to 12. Malcolm. Alice Lloyd up two possessions. Yep. Uh, Thompson just got, uh, Jamie just got off to a bad start, and she's just got to play like uh, Ward's playing right there. Just let it go. As uh, the three is off and Thompson comes down with a rebound, outlets out to Katie Joe Moore. Eagles guard better on the three-point line now. Ward with the pump fake. One more pass goes into Thompson. Katie Joe Moore with a three, a little bit long, but it goes in. Nice touch. She covers her mouth to show that she was smiling. Even she <laughs> likes that one. Yeah. 19 uh, to 12. We're not even going to mention that shot. That's three three-pointers for the uh, Lady Eagles in the first quarter. Move comes out, jump, step back, three missed. Rebound comes long to Durbin. Good ball, Deep move. Three, and it's missed. Rebound comes down to Ward. 19 seconds left in the first quarter. I see if you're the Eagles, we'll more will drive one side or the other and then get the pass. Malcolmson will knock it down, two in a row. 22-12 and only one second to go, and that's going to end their first quarter from the Perry Center. Al Floyd, 22, IU 12, second quarter. Coming up, stay with us. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are and our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC cares. Second quarter coming up, 22-12. Guys, we talked about it a little bit during the break. The inside game of Alice Lloyd has opened things up outside. Those yes. three three-pointers they made, Manus, probably come because of the inside play that got started there for a little bit. Well, you got to start inside, and anything you go at, you got to. It's got to work from the inside out, and and uh, that's why even more. Matty Thompson's got to take advantage of those little short jumpers and inside. Hello to all of you tuning in on Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to hit that like and share button. If you're not following us and subscribing, you're missing out. And, and Tom's taken away, and it will remain with the uh, Lady Eagles with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Thompson caught it, but had no way of protecting it. She dropped it. She's got to catch it and extend her elbows to protect it. But she did turn and aggressively was going to shoot that, and that's what she's got to do. Turns faces, kicks it back out to Maggard. Maggard works, spins. Got to get it up, and it will be a shot clock violation. Turnover, Lady Eagles. Coach Mills did not like that. Felt like he was fouled up before she made the pass, I think. But you got to understand, when you throw that basketball You're in, right. you got to know what the shot clock is before you throw it in. And everybody's got to look at it. Ledgerwood with a basketball. Comes off the screen, trying to get the ball inside. Werner with six points. I would believe that's where they're trying to go. Ledgerwood with a nice move off the board and lays it in. Maggart quit on defense that time and uh, give her easy 
way to go, and that's something you cannot do at this level, 22-14. So turnover and a basket uh, for IU Southeast, and therefore good start to start second as Cash with a floater miss, Ledgerwood with the rebound. Started that one just a little bit too early, guys. Didn't let everything down inside develop there, and it cost Alice Lloyd. High post screen. Thought about it. Stars looking for that three every time she <laughs> touches it. Absolutely. <laughs> Jump shot up, and it's going to be off. Rebound comes down to Cash. Sweeney gets up off the bench. She'll get ready to check back in. Thompson wanted it. Nobody's wanted to go there. Cash with the three goes in and out and star with the rebound. Star with the crossover dribble beats her and beat Banks. And I'm not sure who the foul is going to be on. Who are they going to get that on Thompson? And oh, you're right. It's Banks. It is Banks. Guys, the snow melting outside and everybody trying to get a basketball game because of it. Yeah. Oh, Curry yeah. And Wolf County, big one. Jenkins yeah. and Knott County, yeah. two big ones tonight. Uh, Letcher and Prairie girls playing across the way. So we may have some scores later on to pass pass around and some team called Kentucky's down in Columbia taking on Carolina tonight, Jamie. What do you think about that one? Hey, I, I'm, they freed Z. I say let him shoot the three. <laughs> <laughs> as Star makes both shots. And uh -oh. she will go out as Sweeney comes in for nice job of Star in the basketball game. Only question I got about Z is, does he have any brothers? <laughs> Folks, I was impressed with him the other yes, night. Yes, he was. Don't you can tell he's a shooter. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's a shooter like by the farm. Don't, uh, his sophomore game just kind of, uh, us just. Yeah. Uh, you think there'll be a sophomore game? Yeah. Or is he a one and done as well? He's one and done. Yeah, I think I'm so saying too. his second game. Oh, okay. For a better word. No, no, we won't expect that was magical, man. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to get that the uh, second time out, I don't think, on uh, the road. Cash goes to the board, tries to find Thompson off Thompson and out of bounds. Turnover to Al Sloyd. Seven. Yeah, you got to know there where your big wants. Oh, it. yeah. Yeah. Where they're comfortable catching it. A lot of, not very many players, even at this level, want to catch that ball at that spot. Well, even if she catches it, she's below the backboard right, and exactly. not in a scoring position. I use doing a pretty good job, guys, on defense. Wherever the ball's at, they do have pressure on it. There's no easy, uh, no easy shot there. Sweeney to the go and thought she got fouled. She got her own rebound, passes it to Werner off the board and in. Give her eight. Right now, to be nice quite honest, play. they're out playing Alice Lloyd. They're moving without the ball well. They're crashing the boards, doing a lot of little things. Alice Lloyd's up four, but right now, IU Southeast probably playing a little bit. Yep, 6-0 run to start the uh, second quarter. Alice Lloyd really dribbling quite a bit instead of moving and uh, hitting the open player. Shrek with a three, and she knocks it down. That three just changes the game, don't it, guys? It does. I'm I'm seven point lead now. And like I said, David Adams, anytime you've had come off your best game, you've got confidence, and it looks like Riley Shrek has confidence on shooting that three pointer. Absolutely. Might be the only good thing came out of the Pennsylvania oh, yeah. trip. <laughs> <laughs> As oh, and that's a three. And that was by Werner, and now that gives her double figures with eleven. She's a nice shooter, nice player. Anytime you inside use out. Both, both hands, oh, yeah, same, out. Yeah. left hand, right hand. She's a very nice player. Motion offense by the Lady Eagles. Maggard gives it to Shrek. Shrek up and whoa, knocks another one down. You gotta love that. Maggard drove yeah. into the heart of that zone, kicked she, it out, and Shrek she, caught it to shoot. She's playing a little music Pippa passes. Oh, As Ledgerwood say says, that. I can wow. do it too. Yeah. It's heating up inside here, <laughs> both sides. Yep. And we're going to have a 30 seconds. So we'll just leave it here, 28-24, 5.34 to go here till half. Second game will be coming up, the men's game, right after about 20 minutes, 25 after this one. So. I talked to my buddy down there, Big Ben, didn't get a play up in Pennsylvania, but he says, I'm going to try. He's having some problem with his left ankle, but he said, I think I got enough wheels to go. 
Yeah. I joked him. I said, listen, which foot's hurting? He said, my left. I said, well, I'll just step on your right so hard that you won't think about your left. <laughs> and he looked at me like I'd lost my mind or something. <laughs> you treated well, him pretty rough. Coach, right? Coach Corny said, I can't lose him for two weeks, you big Jamie. And so, <laughs> oh. yeah, anytime you have a high ankle sprain, you just know, and, you, oh, it, you, God, and, and a player with a, a pain threshold, you never know who can play through it and who can. And, and, uh, they gotta have Ben. You gotta they're have just him. a different team without him, guys. Too. Oh, I, yes. He's, he's very he's athletic. A, very good player, Jamie. Yeah. Yes, Minus. indeed. Worth the price of admission if you're out there yeah. watching us on Facebook, looking for a game. Why not just come on over to Pip? Get you some supper. And uh, roads are watch. clear. Yeah. Yeah. Parking lot a little bit. Uh, David took three parking spots, but there's still a couple left out there. <laughs> Five twenty-two to play, 28-24. Skip past Moore a little bit long. Rebound comes down to Durbin. She's going to be tied up by Ward. How do we not run that play back for Shrek? She's hit two in a row. There's what you got to know. Moore got to find a You got to oh, find a That's her shot. Yeah, I'll right. take it all day long, but yeah. I still get... When that ball's thrown hand. in, I'd be looking for Shrek. Yeah, yeah she's it. hot right now. Run number 22. She can play. shoot it. Absolutely. Now, if you're IU, who you go to, guys? Get her on the block right number quick. Number 33. <laughs> right here. That was her and shot she's right there. Rolling back. Couldn't count. Did a good job with a hedge on the screen. Durbin back out. Sweeney, three, two, one. Gets it off. And it's going to be a shot clock violation as it did not hit the rim. Yeah, I thought they had her there on the block at one time, but uh, looking to do the two, uh, two man game on this side. Yeah. And, uh, just for a split second, she was open. Katie Joe Moore on this wing to Shrek, and now they're getting up on her. So that opens other things up for the Lady Eagles. Moore to the red, stolen. Werner gives it up to Sweeney. Sweeney against Shrek. Goes in and lays it in. Nice bucket. Cuts the lead to two with 4.15 to go. Best offensive play sometimes can be your defense. Absolutely. They got that steal and drove it down, took a layup. Live turnovers. As Hannah Cash goes strong, misses it. Rebound comes down to Werner. Gives it up to Ledgerwood. She crosses over a tough catch by Stapleton. Cross to Ledgerwood from deep three. Long and Shrek comes down with it. Hannah Cash one against two. What will she do? Pull up and a little long. Rebound comes down to Stapleton. Both teams have cooled off some. Sweeney to the go, and it's going to be a foul, I believe, on the floor. Yeah, it will be. And uh, coming back in for. Alice Lloyd there will be uh, Banks checking in, a graduate of Letcher Central High School. One of the all-time leading scorers over there. Finished third, I believe, in the rankings. Second or third? Behind uh, Miss uh, Kella Lowe. Maybe she finished that. I knew she told me her goal was, of course, to, to <laughs> pass the coach, and then she got that injury, cost her a couple games, uh, and didn't get to finish with as many points as she was projected to get. But... Nevertheless, a great, great career over at Letcher Central. And a little bit, a little bit late on it, and uh, Banks is going to pick up her uh, second foul. On the give and go, Durbin had the uh, open avenue, and uh, she will shoot two shots, shooting 52% uh, on the season, and she makes the first. I constantly get asked, what's the difference between Alice Lloyd and some local high school teams? This is it. Four of Alice Lloyd's five players on the court right now was the best player from their high school team. Oh, yeah. And Not close. Probably if you check down this couple more on roster, the bench, right? there'll be yeah. more. Yeah. That's just the difference, fellas. It is bigger, quicker, stronger. Yeah. Oh, that's a cut. beautiful pass. Yeah. This, de this defense has really been sharp for IU Southeast. Yeah, yeah, since they've come out of the 2-3 and went man-to-man, -man, it's been a little bit more in your face and, yeah. and, and playing the passing lanes. Stapleton looking into Werner against Shrek, goes up and missed it. Shrek comes down with a rebound. Got a good look. Hannah Cash with the basketball being guarded there by 
Number 11, that's Treat, uh, treat that's in the game as Ward shoots the long three, misses it. Miller with the rebound. Stapleton's done a nice job of getting the basketball inside as Treat will shoot the long three and she knocks it down. Nice shot there by Treat, the uh, sophomore right and, there from New Albany, right where the college puts is. The Lady Grandineers ahead, 31 28, as Katie Joe Moore goes up and good. Floyd Central's finest with a nice touch. The pace has picked up. Treat dribbles to uh, Werner. Werner goes up and she's going to be fouled. Nobody got in front of her, taking it to the uh, rim. You talked about her being one of Floyd Central's finest. Uh, Coach Mills reached out and offered a scholarship to their leading scorer over there this year. So uh, hopefully she can help recruit that young lady. Well, you I gotta can have, see her wearing this Alice Lloyd blue. Yeah, you got to have kids that can shoot the ball and play at this level. Gotta, you got to have it. The foul and was on 22, Manus. I think they switched it. Shrek maybe got that foul. Okay, I know that would have been three on the banks, but she yeah. wasn't close to the action. No, I mean. Uh, Werner uh, makes the first of two, shooting 74% for the season. That's tough, though, because that's going to be Shrek's second. So yes, it is. Come out of the game, and that could play a factor in the second half, gentlemen. I use biggest lead up by three now. 13 for Wern here in the uh, first half. Trying to isolate Count on the block. She turns, faces up, and nice play as Count puts it in. Give her nine. Nice draw up by Coach Mills with the isolation in the, on the post. Trying to do the same thing, or the uh, IU Southeast team to give and go. Warn it, puts it off, and Very she's got nice. more. Like that bounce pass in the paint and kept it low. Ward back to Cowan. Cowan goes up, and that's going to be a foul on uh, Werner, and that's going to be her uh, first. Cowan will go to the line for two. Probably not a bad foul, though, guys, this way. The way she's been scoring, this is going to make her earn them from the free throw yeah, line versus giving right. her the easy bucket. And she's shooting 53% yeah. for the season. Well, she's been shooting well in this game. See, both teams are going inside right now. As, uh, mm, that first free throw free was off to the right little big time. A little bit of a knuckleball. Got to get her hand underneath that uh, basketball to get that good rotation going. Second one up. A little bit better rotation, and it goes in. Minute 10, 35-33. Pump fake. There's the give and go to Durbin. Durbin goes up, misses it, missed the bunny. Alice Lord may have got a break there. Though. Yeah, I got bit of contact on that one. At home, though, we'll take that. Katie Joe Moore kicks it back out to Ward. 42 seconds. Trying to isolate Count on the block here. Under 10 on the shot clock. There's the isolation. Turns faces. And that's going to be stolen by Miller. Miller goes in and lays it in. Count's going to be charged with a turnover, but somebody got to move to her. That yeah. This team bogged them up. They're being more physical with them with Al Sloyd than Al Sloyd's being with them right now. 10 seconds. Ward with a three, got it. Nice way to go into the locker room at halftime as IU Southeast yep. throws it up, cut it to one with that big three-pointer over in that left corner. 37-36 here at the IF at the Perry Center. We'll take a break. Man, Toyota, we'll talk a little ball when we come back. Just want to watch the game. Did that turn on the ceiling fan? Use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. 
But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. Welcome back to the Prairie Center on the campus of Al Sloyd College. We're at the high IU Southeast up by one, 37-36, and we'll get to that scoring a little bit later on. Our halftime guest here at the Man Toyota at the high, Coach Wiley Brown of IU Southeast, and always he comes in here with a tough team. And always him and Scott Cornett battle to the end. Coach, how's it going? It's going well, but you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, we both teams been up and down, you know, if you see them in the conference. But, every, you know, you never know, uh, even given night, either one of these teams can go out and beat a, a really good team. So, yeah. we'll do, expect a good game tonight. Oh, oh, absolutely. You always, most every time I've seen now you come in since you've been there, Coach, uh, you normally bring a guard that can shoot it from the center line, and you, even your center, the five player, will step out about 30 feet and knock it down and look over and grin too. What's it like this season? Well, we don't we don't have them type of guys this season, but I, I tell you, we have we have guys that uh, athletic ride. They're not centers, uh, but you can call them stretch fours. I always have uh, won games with those, those kind of guys. So uh, you, you'll see that again tonight. We have some good uh, senior leadership. We got it. Got one good guard that can really score the basketball, and uh, the other ones that can shoot around, uh, shoot with him, uh, penetrating that kind of stuff, and he dish out. Dish out. But both teams got that kind of team. Uh, I mean, I watched uh, Atlas Lord, uh, their team on uh, on uh, film. They yeah. are shooting for them everywhere. They got everybody. Yeah, they do shoot have some shooters. And they can knock down those shots, and they, they got good guys that really play hard. Uh, <clears throat> looking at your team, I also. Uh, I notice uh, you you have good speed on your team most of the time. I've I've noticed that every year. But what I've also noticed is how they pass the ball, how how your offensive structure they're in they they just have great team concept. Well, ab absolutely. I, a long time ago, I played for a guy named Denny Crum. Yes, you did. <laughs> Pretty tough hombre too. A absolutely, he was, and um, he always told me that um, height. Be six seven, six nine, that guy seven foot. But he said he always played with speed, and that's where I, my my game come come from. That that tutors of him. Then I also was coached up on the Rick Pitino, who uh, speak the games up, um, trap and uh, press all kind of, kind of way. So I, I I had two great mentors that I, I um, coached up on. So those where I get my my game for. I play with a lot of speed. I play with a lot of athletic guys that that right. can run up and down, uh, jump, shoot the ball, basketball. And I think it's a exciting brand of basketball when you play with speed like that. Oh, absolutely. You know, you look at this conference three. 
River States Conference, and most of the time you get uh, like your team up in uh, Indiana Southeast, just across the river there, five or six miles at Louisville. You go to Kokomo. You most of the time you'll face a pretty good ball team. Absolutely. And you go to Point Park. A lot of times they'll have a pretty good ball team. Absolutely. Uh, the conference. I, I, I mean, the conference is really, really tough. Tough that, uh, this season. Uh, with with, with um, you, you get IU Kokomo, like you said. Uh, IU East. Those guys can play. Um, don't, you know, any given night, anybody can beat you uh, in this conference. And it wasn't that uh, when I first yeah. came into the league. Uh, so it's this great brand of basketball player. And when it, if you want, if uh, these fans out here want to see a great band oh, of basketball, yeah. well, we got you, to come to this conference. We've got you on TV tonight, yep. on cable, and also YouTube. Uh, they pick us up on Hometown 24, and also Facebook. So we're everywhere tonight. Oh, so, that's awesome. So you can. Uh, Text back, tell all the buddies to put us on down a little. I said hello to Coach uh, Robin first tonight. I know he's out ill, and I uh, hope he gets better. And it uh, looks like he's got his team playing well also. He, he do. He got, a, he got a great group. And his assistant coach is doing a, a great job also. Um, um, I'm praying for Coach, too. Hope he'll get well soon. And um, um, hopefully he'll be back. And I think he will. He'll be back soon. Uh, but but anyway, when you see, the, when you see both teams, man, yeah. This is a great place to play at. I like the atmosphere. Down oh, here. yeah. The fans <laughs> yeah. are really, really right good. Right on top of it. Right yeah. on top of you. So I'm yeah. telling you, I like it. And they, and, and they know about basketball. Yes. It ain't just chilling and hollering and yelling and screaming. Yeah. They know about the game of basketball. So we really like that. We're expecting a pretty good crowd, aren't we, man? Oh, time. Oh, yeah, first game yes. back after yeah. everything. Yes. How about your team? Healthy? Everybody yes, healthy? everybody healthy. I, I got a couple guys that, that, that's out that helped us out. I got three guys that, that's out. But um, they, they ankle sprains take so long these days, I'm telling you, oh. I don't understand <laughs> yeah. it. But, but <laughs> well, we were talking about pain threshold, and you talk about Patino, and you talk about Coach Crum. I'm sure that pain threshold was not in their uh, vocabulary. No, absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I'm telling you, you get an ankle sprain, you back the next day. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Coach, I noticed Louisville. I'm going to bring this up. Well, you. Louisville's had a – Coach Payne's had a tough time yes. the last couple of years. Uh, I know he had to start over and do this, but seemed like it's been tough on him. And uh, to be honest with you, I thought of you when they were looking for a coach. I said, this guy has a good program, Coach Brown, and he has proved that he can run a program. So oh. I was kind of thinking. I appreciate I appreciate yeah. that. That's my alma mater. I, I, I go and watch practice all the time, pulling for Coach Payne. Those young man, he's down right now, player wise. He got guys that's injured, yeah. also that haven't been playing. Right. So they playing really small basketball, um, and Coach Payne is trying to do the best job again. He was left with a difficult situation. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But, but I, I can say this: those young men that's out there, regardless of your talent level, right. you can play hard any given night. Right. You can control that. And if you want to play, if you, you, it doesn't make a difference about the coach who you're playing for. The, if you have Seth Pryor, you will go out there and give it all your each and every night when you play out there. That's that Seth motivation. Right. And those guys can do that. That's the thing that that's kind of heartfelt but that um, we haven't seen uh, as Louisville fans and guys that that, that played there. Guys don't play hard uh, every given night, and um, hopefully Coach Payne will turn that around. Coach, when you uh, go out of the late to play, uh, 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 or who do you schedule? I know you like to play some teams that are a big challenge. Yes. Most most teams do at this level because helps financially. Number Absolutely. one. Absolutely. And uh, Absolutely. who do you uh, who do you try to reach out to, and, and when you decide that? Well, you know, in, in the NAIA, you're always going to have Georgetown. Um, we we put we played Cumberland this year right. twice. They beat us once. We beat them once. They're always going to be a good team. Camusville always. Oh, yeah. Uh, those are teams that we played that at Marion. We played Marion College. They're going to be good. Um, but when you talk about, you know, uh, a lot of guys that uh, that's out there now that, like, Bellarmine used to play us. But now when you when you plan for your job like that, when you plan coming to a team that you might be able to beat you, you don't schedule them games right now. We used to schedule <laughs> them games all the time. And now they're Division so, One. That's exactly right. So now, now, now we can't get a call back from no. those guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach Brown, we want to thank you for coming by. Always. It's always good. And uh, we'll say hello to everybody down in Louisville. Uh, we do get a good crowd from Lexington when we have 
we do the high school area games here in the area too. So we get a lot of people in Lexington, and Louisville, and everywhere watching the show. So I'm good. I'm guaranteeing that all you viewers is out there watching. I appreciate you all watching. You're gonna see a good brand of basketball tonight. Absolutely. And you know, uh, one of the things too, David, that we've mentioned about Al Slaughter as well. It's a good brand of basketball. It's a high level. High level. Absolutely. And until you see it live, you don't understand the level of basketball. So anybody in the conference. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You young guys that's out there watching this basketball game, don't say I can't. I don't want to play on the NAIA level. Yeah, don't <laughs> underestimate the talent that's in this NAIA level. You have some guys that played in the league in the NBA that came from the same level. That's exactly. right. Yeah. You're right. right. Yeah. Well, Coach Brown, want to thank you for coming. Appreciate Wish you the Absolutely. best. No and thank it's you, always thank good you. seeing you. Always. Appreciate I love it out here. Appreciate it. Absolutely. You. Coach Thanks, Wiley Brown of Indiana University Southeast. We're going to take a break. The girls' third quarter or the women's third quarter will be coming up. Men's game will follow about 20 minutes after this ball game concludes. So stay with us. we got great basketball on Hometown 24. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS? Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to kick off 2024. Now till the end of the year, get the iPhone 13 for one penny with a trade-in. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig with trade-in on a two-year contract with the mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. Now that's a happy new year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. No one likes an uninvited guest, especially when that guest is a potentially dangerous pest. So call Bluegrass Pest Management and let the pros take care of your problem. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, providing much needed jobs to local people. With three locations in Hazard, London, and Hindman, they treat rats, mice, roaches, bed bugs, termites, and many more. Open Monday through Friday and now servicing all of Kentucky. Say goodbye to your uninvited guests today. Call Bluegrass Pest Management. What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. If you're looking for a convenient pharmacy location with a friendly, caring staff, look no further than Heinemann Pharmacy. Located inside the new Heinemann Primary Care Center, our pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 6.30, but always stays open until the last patient is seen. Whether you need to pick up your refills in our drive through need a flavored medicine for your little ones, or something to feel better after a visit to the clinic, the Heinemann Pharmacy inside Primary Care has got you covered. Located at 425 Heinemann Bypass, call the Heinemann Pharmacy at 785-0513. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. And welcome back, folks. Alice Lloyd College basketball action here from Coach Jay Court 
in Pippa Passes, Kentucky. Jamie Hughes here tonight with Manus Blair and David Adams. And Manus right now, Alice Lloyd, thankfully to that three-pointer, has cut it to one here at halftime. And you say three-pointer, and as I'm looking at the stats, you've got both teams are hot from the three-point line. You've got IU Southeast, five of nine. Alice Lloyd, seven of 12. And you know, our lead in was kind of with IU Southeast liking the three, but Alice Lloyd has kept them in, uh, themselves in the basketball game by knocking down the seven three-pointers. Would you agree with this statement? Alice Lloyd didn't play to their strengths. It's just a one-point game, but I feel like the inside game as you guys pointed out in the pregame, and it's been seen the entire first time, is the low post. And Got to get it in there and early it, and often in this third quarter. And as you start off, you see that they're playing uh, Alice Lloyd man-to-man. -man. you got to go inside. And Cowan was very effective in getting post position. I Thank feel you, like, sir. too, that we'll see a Matty Thompson as that one there goes go. just <laughs> like we say it, man. Lottery numbers there. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Maddie Thompson, that's her first uh, bucket of the night. Oh, yeah, back in action here, Minus, and that was a nice shot to get it started. Very nice of Coach Brown of, uh, oh, joining yeah. us at halftime. Good guy. Long three by Ledgewood, and it continues, and they are six of ten from three point. 40 38 or score, third quarter. And that's going to be a push off on Cash, and that's going to be a turnover. Guys, when you're playing from behind, you got to limit your turnovers, and we got to step up a little better down on this other end defensively. Well, uh, you got to run, and I've said it numerous times this year, you got to run them off the three point line. Uh, you, you can't just let them catch, shoot, turn, and face and put it in there. Runner, and that is good by Miller. So far in the ball game, guys. IU has played stronger D than the Eagles so far. Manus, he has yet to bring his candy, but thanks for the drinks, yeah. yay. Thompson from <laughs> way downtown. Cowan goes in strong, goes up, and it rolls off, and she was fouled. <sighs> she uses she the glass there. This is probably a chance for a three-point play, man. And that's going to be uh, the first one on Miller as Cowan will go to the line to shoot two. Had 10 points in the uh, first half. And Rose, the first one in. She's been a solid player for the Eagles the last few weeks, especially. And you know the thing about it is, just like Jamie said, got to have isolation and put her down there and let her go to work until they do something different. DA, you had a nice interview with our friend. Uh, we IG. did. It's always South good. To He's a likable guy. One of my favorite coaches that we play here. You know, he's he always has a good team there at IU and uh, very competitive. Well, and he does uh, a good job to he help does. the people around him, not just his team, but he's been good for this conference over the years. Yeah. And I appreciate 17, his friendship. 17th year. Remember when he uh, played at the University of Louisville for Coach Denny Crum. There's well, that's a nice shot. Back-to-back -back buckets for Thompson. We needed to see that as an Alice Lloyd fan. She needs to see that ball go through the net. You're averaging double figures and rebounds. You ought to be doing that points as well. Back door, weren't it? And that's going to be How a foul. How in the trip. world did the ball get through there? That's what I want to know. It wasn't even a bounce pass. No, it was she just threw that and let her run to it, didn't she? Let her to the Co rim. Coach Mills, he gets back and looks at this game. He's he's going to be disappointed at the defense, Jamie, number one. I can tell you that. It's just, it's just not playing physical fire. defense. You both have done it much longer than I have, but too often teams will look at the other opponent's records and perhaps maybe overlook them sometimes. It happens at every level, guys. And you usually pay a price for that. You pay for that, too. <laughs> IU Southeast 45, Alice Lloyd 41. Thanks to all of you tuning in on our Facebook and YouTube channels and, of course, to our many loyal viewers on TV24 Cable. Cash with a kick out to Moore through her hands and out of bounds. Guys, I have had nothing but rave, beautiful bragging remarks from people about the uh, Sunday program that we yeah, were able to provide. Uh, me as well, Jamie. Everywhere I've went, yeah. people have commented on it. 
Lord, what a great basketball atmosphere it was. And what three good ball games. Three oh, of them. Who would have thought we'd have went three for three with good games? Hell. <laughs> good defense by Maggard as she forced uh, Ledgerwood off the three-point line, giving it up. Something about these cameras, man, this brings the best of everybody out, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that nice was easy. Fake. That was easy. Nice Coach fake. Mills, uh, he's not happy. Oh, I, somebody got to slide over there and help yeah. her out, man. She got in trouble, yeah. But, you know, you understand this, that when you're knocking down three-pointers, you're just going to hang with your man just a little bit longer than you normally do. As Moore knocks oh. down the jumper, give her a seven. And touch. what happens when you do that, it opens up avenues to the basketball go. You are right. 47-43, 6.25 to go third quarter. And that's what happens when you close off as uh, You got to pick your poison, don't you? One or the other, man. Absolutely. Got caught there in the middle of both of them, and Alice Lloyd down seven. All the momentum right now going to the ladies in the room. All the the positive inf all the positive mojo is with them as well. Trying to isolate Thompson on the block as Mora goes to the go up off the boarding and good. She made it, but if I read her face, she's grimacing a little bit. I hope she hasn't tweaked that ankle again. And that's going to be a blocking foul, and that's probably going to be on Cowan. Let's watch Katie Joe. She is yeah. favoring it. Yeah, I, she is. And I, I wanted to be wrong on that. They need her. She's wow, I uh, reckon. She's Especially a in scorer. this third quarter, man. She's had an assist or buckets on just about every play. Thompson going to get a breather here at the 540 mark in the third quarter. Sweeney shooting 61% for the season. Rose the first in. That free throw is good. You talked about Wiley playing at Louisville. Guys, does Louisville make a change during the season, at the end of the season? They've got to, I think, right? It wouldn't shock me. I didn't want to go in that with him, Jamie, but I, no, I don't love him. I don't he's blame a personal him. friend. Oh, I, yeah, I, I don't would, blame you. You know, I'd him. love to have asked him that, though, to be I honest just, with you. Too much talk. I think they'll make a change, and it may come even before the AAC tournament, ACC tournament, rather. The biggest problem is the financial loss of uh, attendance. That's where you got to look at, and that's what most administrators look at, as uh, Cowan may have got away with a walk there, as uh, Werner uh, is going to pick up uh, the foul, and that's her second. I know we all three are Wildcat fans, but, fellas, it's one of the top programs in the country, and they've just fallen on hard times at Louisville. They, they've got to find some way to stop the bleeding down there. Well, through recruiting, through different things. Uh, yeah, that, I, I don't think it's totally on the coach. I believe no. there's a lot of things yeah. that fell apart down there. Yeah, I Probably think so paying, too. Probably uh, paying from some things that happened a couple years ago. You know, I thought too many guys hit the door yeah. at the same time, Jamie. Yeah, and it's just I, it's I impossible mean, at this day and yeah. age, man. To... But I, I want them to win every game but the one they play against Kentucky. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like a lot of folks. Huh? In-state school, I hope they do good as long as they're not playing their cats. IU Southeast right now playing well, though, 52-46, five-minute mark here in the third quarter. They are. They're, they're protecting the ball, and they're sharing the ball, and they're doing everything that you need to do to be successful right now. Cash with a help on the helpline. Werner gets open off the board, and she knocks it down. Cowan got to stay down there, D.A. She bit on yeah. that fake and stay on the ground there. Cash to the goal, and she lays it in. Give her four. And, guys, as I look down here, Abby Maggard went out of the basketball game, and she has not scored as of right now. No, she's uh, had some opportunities to shoot. They've just been uh, a little short, a little long. But you have nights like that sometimes, guys. As a young player, you got to make sure you do the other things. When you're not getting the basket to fall, you go out and play defense. You make a good pass, set good screens. There's a lot of other ways you can help this team. But, Even of course, Miss Miger knows her role is to put the ball in the bucket. Got one against two against four here as Cash makes the right choice. Moore looks, wide open pass, and Banks lays it in. Nice touch and excellent pass by Katie Jo Moore. And she knew the before. Assist, man. Yes, sir. She knew before that what she was going to do, and that's a key to a good passer. You've got to have confidence in your teammates. Let them play D, but 
didn't do it, man. Really no defense there. No, I'm not. going to be honest. The there was pass no pressure was too there. easily. They yeah. made the pass too easy. She caught it too easy and got the shot off all three parts. They Absolutely. fell apart there, man. If Sweeney 13 on the three, there was a screen and roll a little bit slow on it. More open, pump fakes. 15-foot jumper, knocks it down. There's why she's got to play. She got an assist and got a bucket in the last 30 seconds. They need her to be healthy. Cut it to five, 52-57. Yeah. Really, her and Banks and Calvin's been their three kids today play well. Mismatch, Werner goes up. Good offense. Hannah Cash knows I'm one of her biggest fans, but they got to make a switch there. That, that young lady's caused Hannah some trouble. Absolutely. And that's going to be a foul on Werner, and I believe that's going to be her third. And uh, it is. Mm. That's a big foul right there. Now let's see if she's going to go out of the basketball game. Has no choice, really. I mean, there you go. She's been playing well. Coach Mills going to need her for the fourth quarter, no question. Werner goes out with 20 points. That's a key point. Mark it on the calendar with 314 in the game. And that's going to be a steal. He got a two against one out to Sweeney. Thompson will foul her, and she will go to the line. Coach Ferris down at IU, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier he was ill and off. He always has a good fundamental team, basketball team, always. He does a great job down there. Sweeney makes one of the first two. Eyes the second one and knocks it down. Good fundamental sound team, guys. Just share the ball well. Yeah. They, they play good defense. You're right, man. Right now they have all of the mojo, as Maynus calls it. 61 52, three minutes to play. They have good This chemistry. is a team you don't yeah. want to let be there with about four minutes in the fourth quarter. You'd like to make this comeback now if you're out of slow. Yeah. Cash shoots and knocks it down. Man, let's put your coaching hat on. What do you do when a team's hitting as good as they are outside? Well, Zone probably definitely not going to be an option. Well, you gotta, you gotta get man. You gotta guard them, Jay. Right. You got to be there before the pass yeah. comes, type thing. Does they take a thirty-second timeout? Yeah, we we'll just out? leave it here, guys. Well, Sixty-one fifty-four. I think sometimes, uh, and David Adams probably may or may not agree with me. But I think in, in more times than not, you've got to stay with your man-to-man, -man, but you've got to use your man-to-man -man principles even in a zone. You've got to go out and run them off the three-point line. Especially like this you, level. Yeah. yeah. This just, level you this do. Level. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. if you play that zone and you've watched too many a game over here, you got too many girls can knock it down, and they have proven throughout the season that they will knock down the open three-point shot <laughs> if given that opportunity. Most buckets at this level come from the second pass, too. Oh, so yeah. if you go to help or if you're and out of one. position, the second pass you're will right, burn you at this you're level. Right. Guy. This is not high school. you got to no, get no. on them. They'll make that extra pass to, to get a good shot or a better shot, as Coach Cornett always talks about. And the little things, as Coach Cornett talks oh, he, about, those are the little things staying down and not looking at the ball fake or taking the ball fake like you mentioned earlier. 2-2-1 two, two, to kind of use up a little bit of time and they advance back in. Looks like they're in man, uh, David Adams. They are. I, I mean, uh, they're at the point where they've got to uh, put better pressure on the basketball. And they ran her off the three-point line, and she missed the bunny. That was, uh, of course, Star had come into the basketball game, and it's going to be a turnover. Unforced turnover, and Coach Mills. Uh, Not happy. He's had a rough game, Coach Mills has. He's usually relaxed, but he knows his team has not got the motion. Coming back from the Indiana trip, guys, long trip and a tough trip. And you just get a day or two to have to go at it again. I heard you talk about it in the beginning of the parts of this game. Seven hours. Oh, you yeah. You explain that to me. Yeah. When there's, when there's 20 colleges in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, no need for it. Sweeney from way downtown. It's long. Banks will get the rebound. Sweeney, the outstanding young guard for him. Oh, my goodness. And that one was a little bit long. Couch, uh, she'll put a smile on her face and say, well, coach, I'll try it again maybe. 
And she got to get to the rim. Yeah, this young does. lady's as good as they're as we've ever had here at getting to the rim. If that shot don't fall, and that's going to be a blocked shot. Take it to the rim, Miss Cash. You need a bucket here, kid. Get your confidence up. This is right here. Good move. Nice pass, and uh, Thompson. It's off of her and out of bounds. Boy, if you're IU, you want to take advantage of that turnover and get another bucket with a minute 47 to go. Third quarter, no question. As Ward has been placed on uh, Sweeney to try to slow her down, Star with a jumper. Long rebound comes down to Banks. IU East trying to let them back in. They've come up short three trips. Good look to Thompson. More into the middle line, kick out to Ward for the deep three, no good. And rebound short. comes down to Miller. Usually when you shoot short, that means your legs are tired. Hesitation dribble by Miller. Tries to pump fake to get someone to go, but Ledgerwood misses the th wide open three. She was set up well. Thompson with a 15 footer, knocks it down. Nice She's had a there. really good third quarter. I think about eight of her points six. have been in this, six of them in six this third points. quarter. Yep. Yeah. Yep, her, uh, yeah, her only six has been in this third quarter. Big time shot, was ready to shoot at that time. Sweeney trying to take Ward off the dribble. Ward staying in between, spin dribble goes up and there's gonna be a foul. And I think Ward got her with the body and yes, that's what the call is. Her first. As she goes to the line for two, fellas, we saw Hazard and knock any play. DA, I'm still convinced they're two of the top five teams in the mountain. Well, yeah, Jamie, you'd have to, no doubt about that. Uh, I think if we're, what we've saw so far, Manus, uh, he may he may agree or disagree with one or two of them, but what we've seen so far, we'll probably see Breathitt, Hazard, Nod County, uh, and then probably Perry could be there same place not County is, they're that close. I'm gonna make a prediction that Perry starts an uphill trend from tonight moving forward. A win over Wolf County gets them clicking and this could be a big month for Perry Central. Well, they're very capable. They've got some nice players, nice shooter. Woods is a nice shooter outside. Uh, Kaiser Sloan, he can go in or out and then you just go with uh, all those guys over there. They'll play hard. So they're in it. They're a team that can make some noise. And you got to understand, guys, once again, it's going to be placed down in the 56th district. Well, D.A. said that the first, before we played a minute of basketball. He said that, and James and I were talking about that last night, how he made the comment in our preview that it's on the other end of the region, and it could be anything come regional tournament time. Yeah, it's, it's so, different. It's, so it's then different. you've got to look at one of the 56th district teams. Yeah. Estill, and I still think Wolf's close enough that that'll be a home game to them if they can get in. Hey. Don't cut, Pal, Pal yes, could get somebody, guys. Yeah. And I watched the uh, Pal Owsley game the other night on TV, so <laughs> I'm still watching a lot of TV. Dave Hello, <laughs> Roberta Waddell Dewey from down in the state. She's looking in tonight and uh, glad to have her along. Rebound and did not box out as Ledgerwood, Led Ledgerwood misses it. Third quarter's over, guys. 58-63 IU. Stay with us. We got a good finish coming up. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. 
Welcome back to the Prairie Center. Fourth quarter, getting ready to start. 63-58, IU leading the Eagles by five. And Jamie, you mind us? Eagles pretty step it up and step it up quick. What do you do here, fellas? You're down five as we start this fourth quarter. Got to make a run early here, you think? You got to play defense and get stops and go down and uh, take some good shots and put it Better in shot selection, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. And uh, getting beat off the dribble which is not a thing that Coach Mills wants to happen. And if you're IU, you want to keep doing what you're doing, good ball movement, looking for the open person. And you say that, uh, Werner's back in the basketball game, and I'm sure that's who they're looking for as the three is shot, and it's Long Cowan who's back in the basketball game, gets the rebound. Cash with the – and, and it's going to be a foul. That's going to be on Treat, her second. Roberta just made a comment. Alice Lloyd has much better facilities than when we were there. <laughs> she was back here a few years ago, like uh, me and Manus and all, but uh, she's right. We do have great facilities on campus now, the college does. And that rose out. And they do have uh, have a lot of different things here. So if anybody hasn't visited the college in a while, they need to come visit and look around. Absolutely, a great place to go to school. And that's going to be a steal by Banks on the backside, giving help. Stapleton tried to force it in there. Jamie, here's where I see how Lloyd probably should have went into it a lot early with the high-low game, stood a five out. And I think Coach Mills has done a good job making the adjustment there. A nice job of Banks identifying that she was being doubled. Kicks it out to Thompson for the 15-footer, and she has warmed up. Maybe she heard us getting on to yeah. her a little bit. And that's the block by Thompson. She's been all over the floor, man. Abby Maggard back in the basketball game. See if she can get it going. I mean, you got to quit killing her dribble. I've seen her do that a couple different times this season. At this level, you got to keep that dribble alive. Absolutely. So we got Thompson at the high post, turns and faces. And, oh, Cal must stepped on the line. Had to be because she saved it, but she must have been on the line as she done it. I think Thompson is just so tired, guys. A little she winded. Needs a break. A little yeah. winded. Huh? Get her a break. Yeah. Then you've got that under six timeout coming up, and then you can put her back in there Absolutely. under that six. How about that thinking? Yeah. Coach Mills must have heard you guys because she – Well, he needs her to finish the game. He's, you know, she's rebounded well in the second half. She's made some big buckets. He's going to need her to finish the game. As Shrek came in and uh, for her. See, everybody trying to help down low, though. you got to have confidence in your teammate. Guard your person. Pressure up top. And uh, Cash did a good job pinning her to the baseline, kicks it out, and it comes through Treat's hands and out of bounds. Tough pass to catch. And uh, that will be stapled and will go out of the basketball game. And Ledgerwood, and I apologize to her people, I called her Leatherwood, but that's down in Perry County. We knew that that's really close by, <laughs> but the folks down there perhaps don't. Never heard of Leatherwood. <laughs> Good spacing by the Eagles right now, leaving that middle. To and Ward had the angle, oh missed the my. shot. Sweeney comes up with it, got a three against three. She moves to their left side. Good defense by Cowan, gives it up to Werner. Kick out the treat with a three, and it's long to Ward. Boy. Had a wide open three in the deep right corner. Cash finds Cowan opening and puts it in. We're tied, and it's been a while since we've been tied. So, with 7 9 to go in the ball game. Nice fake by Sweeney. Got Cowan up in the air, and then the foul's going to be on Ward. Cowan just slid over there right. And it cost her, too. Sweeney is uh, knocked down a few shots and uh, allowed that pump fake to allow her to get the ball to the basket. <laughs> Miss Barb Mills, if you're tuning in, John is a little extra active tonight. He is. You may have to give him a call, Barb, a little later on. And it uh, looks like Sweeney, she is uh, I'd say Barb grimacing. don't pay attention, John. <laughs> she, she watches every game we do, though. She's Does she? Yes. 
guaranteed that we're being well, tuned in uh, down in Berea, Kentucky. I'd, well, I'd well. bank on that. <laughs> As Cowan gets the rebound, Sweeney misses both critical free throws here with uh, under seven minutes. Let's see what we got. We got a five out <laughs> and Maggard to the go. And it's going to be a block. And they say it is off of. And Coach Mills is not liking that call. Maggard said if it didn't get fouled, it was blocked. <laughs> Tied up. 640. Going to ball game. And that woke the crowd up here at ALC, and that's going to be a foul on Cash. That's going to be her second. And Miller will go to the line, shooting 69% for the year. First one up, and both teams have really cooled off the last four or five minutes, big time. You think they're feeling a little bit of the pressure? Well, you know, it's late in the game, and there's not, IU has is, is played seven or eight kids, but now Al Floyd has uh, played more, but it still seems like it's a slow motion game right now. It's not a typical game that we had a week ago. No, and again, it House Lord just struggled offensively, and then that's causing them, I feel like, trouble everywhere else. Yeah, they're not hitting like they normally do. And, uh, you know, last time we had them on, they shot it very well. Shrek from way downtown misses I, it. I, I don't know if she had any teammates on the basket then. They set the double screen and nobody rolled. His let, that's let a big shot right Coach there. Coach Mills needs a timeout. I know he's close to that under six, but he needs oh. one. They're back up four with... He's no options, it feels like, down on this end. Illegal screen, it just went from bad to worse. And that one uh, was on Shrek, I believe. And it is, that's her fourth. As Abby Maggard will come out and Katie Moore. Coach Mills uh, doing a little coaching there and uh, showing them the correct way to set the screen. Yep. Ledgerwood to the go, misses it with the left hand. Katie Joe Moore with the, uh, uh -oh. might have got away with a double dribble there. Couldn't really tell from this angle. Katie Joe Moore is fouled on the floor and that's gonna be on uh, Ledgerwood, I believe. You know, uh, Jamie, you and Manus, is it time to bring Thompson back to finish the yeah, round? I, I look for him again. Uh, why do we you say think? that? She gets off the bench. <laughs> I, I thought it, under that six-minute mark would <laughs> yeah. see her come back. You must be on that walkie-talkie. Well, it's time. He's He knew he had to bring her back. And uh, he's been in the business a long time, Coach Mills has. He knows. Sure has. And that's going to be a jump ball, and that's going to stay with the uh, Lady Eagles. Uh, Malcolmson is in the basketball game. Failed to mention that. She's throwing it in to Thompson. Katie Moore with the basketball. As Cash will now set the offense under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Malcolmson way downtown misses it. And that's going to be a push off. Ward uh, put her hands down. She on did, the... man. She did. Got caught out of position. <laughs> that was pretty easy to see. Get wasn't it? With that push off. Yes, sir. Yeah. 520 to play. And Alice Lloyd still down four. As Sweeney comes back in the basketball game. And that's three fouls on Ward. They've not hit a shot as good as they were early. You might come out with that full court press. The next made basket. They've got to speed it up, Jamie. In some way to get yeah. this team out of con out of their pace. Miller thought she had it. Uh, nice move. Goes up and it's blocked. Caddy Joe Moore with the uh, rebound. Didn't see who made the block shot. Cash to kick out to Thompson over to Ward. 
Oh, cross guys, cross court, never. Not at this level. It's just not going to be that. No. It's you, not going to be that oh. at this level. Nope. Not to mention, got to be a little more patient and let that pass go inside. That bounce pass that D.A. loves so well would have oh. been there in just two more seconds into that last offensive set. Well, you got to like that. a safety and watching the quarterback, and that's going to be a jump ball. Held ball, and it will be a turnover as the basketball will go to IU Southeast. Ledgerwood back in the basketball game uh, for Treat. Critical uh, defensive scheme going on right now. And let's see what the Alice Lloyd lady. 19 Eagles. turnovers for Alice Lloyd. Guys, I've had two games in which they didn't have that many turnovers. They've turned it over 19 times here today. And Sweeney missed it, and then yeah. frustration fouled uh, Thompson. She had a good look. Just not enough basketball in the square to get the bucket that time. But she had a, a nice move to the goal. As yes, she, she did. Pick up her second foul as uh, Banks will come in for Malcolmson. Both these teams, good coach teams, knows their role. Critical offensive uh, set this time as Thompson trying to isolate on the block. Back door, Banks, and lays it in. Nice pass, nice move. Here's when the pressure's got to come now. The yep. pressure's got to start even before they cross half court. Get IU in a different rhythm than what they've been in here. Miller to the go. Cut off by Thompson. Back door, and it's going to be a steal by Ward. Eagles got to score, guys. Caddy Joe Moore with a jumper, no. Banks comes in, but the rebound comes down to Sweeney. You need a stop here, guys. Big time stop here. You're down four. It has to happen on the defensive end. Get some kind of fast break yeah, point, maybe. Absolutely. Got to have good pressure here. You're right, Jamie, you and Manus, because this team shoots the three ball well. You got to guard that line. And that was long as Banks gets the rebound. Cash cut off, out to Ward. Ward goes to the baseline, gives it to Thompson. Thompson misses oh, it. Mercy, you. And if, if you're comes Thompson, to you got to make that. And there's going to be a foul call. Oh, my goodness. On the go, you got to go up strong, Jamie Hughes. Manus Blair, put it off the square. Play a little music, Pippa Pass, and get the bucket. He's called that foul on Katie Joe Moore, guys. Yeah. On the arm. And that means we're going to have a, a bonus right. shot. Two shots. Yes, sir. Manus's favorite call. The ability to go down and shoot two, even though you were 85 feet away from the ring. Of course, now in girls basketball, that's been a common thing. It has been. Play. One of the ways it's kind of helped me because I've been Accustomed a little bit accustomed to that for a couple of years. Still don't like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> one and one means you got to make the first to get to the second. But we've been doing that here for a while. 70-65, 244 to go in the game. Sweeney eyes the second one and misses the second of two as Cowan gets the rebound. That's an excellent box out there. Did a great job. Young kids at home, she did that fundamentally perfect and got the rebound because of it. I feel like Cash giving the ball up too quick right now. Banks goes up, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it will stay with the Banks. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Good timeout here. Get everybody on the same page. Need this bucket, D.A. Absolutely. We'll take a break from the Perry Center, 7065, 227 to go. Stay with us. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. 
There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. 227, 7065, Eagles got to pick it up if they're going to get a W tonight. Cowan with a spin, gives it up to Banks. Banks kicks it back out to Cowan for the open three. No. Nice rebound by Miller. She went up with both hands. How much clock do they run right here? Coaching staff says spread it out. You'll see that shot clock go down to about six or seven That's what I would before say. they make, make move a move. Seven. Yeah. yeah. You're up two possessions. As the shot goes up, Miss gets her own rebound. And three Eagles and one IU, and she wins the battle. And you know, you gotta it's have those. Yeah. Gotta have it. Yeah. Guys, there's still time for Alice Floyd, but should they lose this game, games like this kill you come tournament time. Yes, it when does. When you look at a team and they beat you for a home seed or they make a better spot in the tournament, it's a lot of times because you let games like this slip through your fingers. Yeah. And you can't lose home games. Home games no. this late in the schedule. This is the second half of the season. Treat will shoot two, 70% free throw shooter, and she makes the first. IU Southeast reminding their players don't foul. We would want the clock to continue to run back on the defensive end. Well, I tell you, it's, it's, it's crucial the, now. Eagles spread the court, put score. the ball in two zeros hands. Let her work her magic. She needs to get going here. Yes, yeah, she does. Screen out high maybe and uh, let her do her thing. And they've got to move quick. Down fakes I'm into not, Thompson. I'm not so sure. Back door oh, and lays it in. Nice pass, Thompson. Now you got to have pressure and make them earn it down the court. So, so Jamie, they have to take what you give them. To the goal and try to right draw there. a foul. Missed it. No Get foul. another bucket here. Take yeah. it to the rim. Another bucket here. Spat him up that time as Cash shoots the 15 footer, misses it. Oh man, Cash was. Turner with a rebound. Had a good look, just couldn't hit it. 54 seconds, 72 67. I would assume you're going for the steal. If you don't get it, you're fouling here. Down two possessions. Yeah. I might could play it one more time on the shot clock. I don't know. 24 seconds on the shot clock would be tough because you're down two possessions. Yep. 30 second. We'll leave it right here at the Prairie Center. Well, right. I think when it comes in, you got to double, and if you don't steal, you got to pick out who you're going to find. I think so, yeah. too. Probably during this timeout, pointing out who we would like to trap the best shooter, make that uh, young lady give the basketball up, and then go foul the next person. And you, when you start looking down, you, most of the, the people that's on the floor for IU Southeast are in the 60, 70 percent free throw range. So I think if you don't steal it after that initial trap, you just foul whoever's got the basketball. And you're trying to go after the basketball. You're not just going out there and oh, going, right. boom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Sorry, Jamie, I'm just showing oh, I'm, you. I mean, I'm tough as a corn <laughs> cob here. <laughs> 54 seconds to play. Thanks to all of you tuning in on Facebook Live and YouTube. And, of course, to all of our loyal audience on the cable network here in Pippa Passes, Kentucky. And here we go. Ledgerwood gets it into Sweeney. And he's calling for the trap. Sweeney goes up and shoots it and puts it in. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fooled the 74, lady. 67. Oh, and that's going to be a walk as yeah. uh, Miller came out on Malcolmson and she could not get it off. It's been one of those games, folks, for the Eagles. Uh, probably uh, a very, very hard game after the trip north to Indiana. And that's going to be the third foul on... Uh, Cash, and that will send uh, Ledgerwood to the line, and she's shooting 78%. Kaylee's going out, but I thought Kaylee played good tonight, guys, for the Eagles. She had a pretty good ball game. Yep, pretty good. She had uh, two, four, six, seven, eight points. 
As a team, fellas, one stat will jump out, and I'll get you the official stats just in a moment. But when you have double digits in turnovers, you're that's not going to win at but this level. But when you level. have 20, you're not winning at this level. No. You cannot turn the ball over that many times. Now, this is going to be a, if it stays, going to be a big road win for I, for IU Southeast because, uh, you know, you look at these two teams on paper and you would think uh, the Eagles would have the advantage, Jamie, you and Manus. Yeah. Well, and again, a shout out, as you guys talked about earlier, to their coach. He's yeah. home under weather yeah. right now. So this has to be nice, right, to yeah. his, staff his staff to come in here and to have this kind of trust and a leadership. It's it's means a lot. Yeah, and the discipline it takes sometimes. Well, Remind I, you I, folks at home, this is the first of two. Don't go anywhere. We got a, a potential yeah. barn burner coming up next Absolutely. year. They'll be high flying and attacking the rim on both ends of the court. Very athletic game coming up. Got to get it up. Flyer screen to Cash for the deep three. Missed it. Cowan comes down with a rebound. Goes back up. And it's going to be a foul. Got to be careful here if you're IU Southeast. You're up nine. You wouldn't want to get a technical. No. <laughs> no. You just. You. And that's four on uh, Warner. And Cowan will shoot two. That's what you do not want to do, which is the foul, stop the clock, allow them to make the free throws and set up the defense. And misses the second as Warner gets the rebound, and that's going to be a foul on Shrek. And we'll shoot free throws. Yeah. And Katie Jo Moore will come in for her. Got the heart of a lion, guys. Katie Jo is playing injured. It's obvious. Oh, yes. As she come, as she come onto the court there. I thought I'd seen it earlier. She's trotting with a little, a little limp in her step. 30.7 seconds, 77, 68. I didn't see this one coming. No, I didn't either. But, guys, you can have those, this game like this. You can. And... Uh, you know, hit, uh, they'll just bite you sometime. You, your team's tired and you're shooting the ball short. Your passes are short. They don't have that zip on them and I'm you're gonna not quote, rebounding. I'm going to quote a coach. Yeah. Coach Dickey Adams. Yeah. And you know what? I'm now say it like you've got a pencil behind your ear. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> He's got a pencil behind his ear. <laughs> there are no excuses. <laughs> so, in other words, I, well, you got a point there, And on Manus. the other hand, they've come three Oh, yeah, they just the, drove three and a half <laughs> hours. And, and uh, sat on a bus. Yeah. And probably ate some bad convenient mart food. Or Makes the trip back to a lot easier. Hoosier country a little bit easier. Yeah. Should they hold off to get the win. Mathematically, Alice was not out of it, but a lot of things would have to go their way and, and south one, in a hurry for IU Southeast. And but, one of the things, once they got the rebound, they called a timeout, which allows you to advance that basketball that a lot of people, if you're not watching, it allows them to advance that basketball up here a little bit closer. So if you knock down a three, and they had a good flare screen for Cash in the deep left corner a while ago. So yeah, the play was perfect a moment ago. Yes, You just got to execute it. But 29.5 seconds again, we will have a game to follow this one. You guys stick around. And keep it tuned right here to Hometown 24. Moore's got to go quick. Got to get it up on the board. And that's going to be deflected. Cash goes up with a jumper, makes it, and it's a two. Seven, got to seven, make a foul seven. here. And uh, no, no foul call. And Cash will foul the uh, Coach Mills when he, uh, as soon as the jumper went in, he wanted to double wherever the ball was. And Eagles getting there a little slow. And uh, turn up uh, another two to three seconds. As Sweeney uh, will Manus go. Manus Blair, him. IU Southeast men have a couple players that had to dunk under when they come in through the door. Wow, that kid is. He's 6'8", 6'9", 6'11". 6'11", okay. Uh, on the roster, I believe he's 6'11". Wow, he's a, he's a big kid. 15.4 to play. That game will come up following this one. 
first. And <laughs> thirteen point seven seconds to play. Once again, he will advance the ball. I'm probably just going to be too little, too late, guys, though. Three possessions here. Yeah, I mean, he's got to come down quick if you're Coach Mills. If you're IU, you want to make them use some of that time getting down. You don't want a long pass here at midcourt or anything like that. Of course, if Coach Mills called timeout, he gets to advance the ball to midcourt. If he got the timeout, did he get the timeout? He, did he get got the it. But you, and you fellas know I'm as big a Alice Lloyd fan as there is. Ah. We didn't have possession of the ball. <laughs> She's got a she's got a gripe. She has a legit and if argument. it was dribbled, then that means you you would put the basketball in down here rather than the ball here, mm -hmm. and that's what uh, the coaching staff is saying. He said she dribbled, so if she dribbled, then you can't advance the basketball. Am I not correct? Uh, you're you right. So. You're correct both ways. <laughs> but but again, I believe it's all for nothing with 13.7 seconds. You're up eight. Kentucky, Kansas, 1982. Looking, looking, nobody's still yet there, and now she finds her. And back to Moore, and that's going to be uh, out of bounds. And I'm surprised IU Southeast is uh, going after the basketball, nearly fouling. <laughs> so Down and straight up. <laughs> you wouldn't want to foul a shooter then. No. Kick out the catch. And she will shoot the three and misses it, and that's probably going to do gonna it. That's going to do the ball game. IU with a big win at Alice Lloyd at the Perry Center. Just come in here and outworked them, guys. Man, it's hit maybe their best win of the season. That's it's a good be win for this seventh team. Seventh win. They pick up their seventh win of the of the year. Absolutely, and uh, in scoring for Alice Lloyd, Manus, who was leading them today. And that would be Jamie Cowan, I believe, is uh, 14, 16, 17 for Jamie Cowan. I want to congratulate her on a – she played well pretty much the entire game, that young lady did. Did a pretty good job. And, yeah, player of a game. Main select that, you and Jamie. Probably right if you were talking for Alice Lloyd. Well, for the IU as well. For either team, then. Yeah. Okay, Manus. I think Sweeney came in. Yeah, I in. agree with you. She Sweeney. came in there after having five at halftime. She ends up with 19-20-20, uh, 23 points. Carly Sweeney will be her Al Floyd College player of the game. And that's an IU. How am I going to get her card autographed? I don't know, but we'll send it to Coach Ferris in the mail and get her card. And uh, he's down there tonight sitting back sick and ill and got a towel around his head probably. I'm, I'm sure and, he's uh, feeling much better. I'm going to have to tell him when I come to Louisville, he's going to have to buy lunch or dinner. <laughs> I've, I've known him for a long time. Good guy. But uh, the next game will be coming up, folks. Once you stay with us here on Hometown 24, we're about 25 minutes away from the game. It'll be IU and Alice Lloyd at the Perry Center. We'll take a break and be back. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi. I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. 
I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are, and our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC Cares. I just want to watch the game. That turn on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS? Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to kick off 2024. Now till the end of the year, get the iPhone 13 for one penny with a trade-in. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig with trade-in on a two-year contract with the mix and match or unlimited plan. 
plus no activation fee. Now that's a happy new year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. No one likes an uninvited guest, especially when that guest is a potentially dangerous pest. So call Bluegrass Pest Management and let the pros take care of your problem. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, providing much needed jobs to local people. With three locations in Hazard, London, and Hindman, they treat rats, mice, roaches, bed bugs, termites, and many more. Open Monday through Friday and now servicing all of Kentucky. Say goodbye to your uninvited guests today. Call Bluegrass Pest Management. What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. If you're looking for a convenient pharmacy location with a friendly, caring staff, look no further than Heinemann Pharmacy, located inside the new Heinemann Primary Care Center. Our pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 6.30, but always stays open until the last patient is seen. Whether you need to pick up your refills in our drive through need a flavored medicine for your little ones, or something to feel better after a visit to the clinic, the Heinemann Pharmacy inside Primary Care has got you covered. Located at 425 Heinemann Bypass, call the Heinemann Pharmacy at 785-0513. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi. I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. 
While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are and our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC cares. Just want to watch the game. That turned on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS?
Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to kick off 2024. Now till the end of the year, get the iPhone 13 for one penny with a trade-in. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig with trade-in on a two-year contract with the mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. Now that's a happy new year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Welcome back here on Hometown 24. We're at the Prairie Center, Al Sloyd College, and getting ready for the men's game. We're about eight minutes away from starting that game. Down in Columbia, South Carolina, Maine has got his phone. We're all tied up down there at 21, so expect a good game there. We do have some area high school games. We'll try to get those scores along to you as well. Guys, athleticism. If you talk about IU Southeast, you're talking about kids that run well, shoot well, jump well, pass well. They do everything well. <laughs> and what oh, you're goodness. saying is Coach Cornett needed to be healthy. And he Coach is, Cornett he needs he is to not. be at his best. They I'm are far from you. it. I can tell you game time decision was Ben Shamaro. He will not start. He'll gotcha. come off the bench. I watched him warm up, went over there. But Jamie. got up, moved over there to watch him. His yeah. lateral movement, guys, is nowhere close to what they needed to be. Jamie, yeah, without they needed, him. And they'll need that tonight. And of course, yeah. went to Pennsylvania, hurt, lost yeah. two games up there. Uh, wouldn't close. I didn't have to even pick up my phone. When I saw the score, I said, somebody didn't get a play. And sure enough, it Ben had ben. injured his ankle. Yeah. And, uh, but nevertheless, it's next man up. And uh, yeah. I think we may see Alice Lloyd go with two starting point guards tonight. I that could happen because being not being at his full strength and not able to go. And I seen him in warm ups. Jamie, I, I tell you what, don't know if he'll play a whole lot tonight. But you know the thing about it is a player with any kind of lower extremity, once you get warmed up. Yeah. You know, you can't no. sit long because if you sit long on the bench then you're going to stiffen up. So if he's going to play tonight, yeah. it's, it's going to be real quick. I agree. Back in the basketball game. And Either way, the young man that had his best game the last time we were here has got to step up again. Jared Strickland has yeah. to carry the load offensively here. They'll look to, big, to a couple big men inside to try to share uh, some positions in there. You won't stop this IU Southeast team, David, but you hope to contain them, especially early on. Yeah, Jared will have to play big for Al Soy tonight, man. It's you and Jamie, and there ain't no question about that. He's he's very athletic himself. He's uh, had a fantastic ball game the last time we was over, and uh, he's got to step up. Al Lloyd will have to really use the body on blocking out because IU, very athletic. You can't give them two and three shots on a possession. You got to put your body on them, play solid D, and get the rebound and try to take that away from well, them. Well, I mean, you're talking about you're going to play man to man, and Coach uh, Cornett has said it many a time to Jamie. It's the little things. And if you play man to man, you got to put a body on them. Yeah. If you know, you're a jumper, you get them before they jump. Yeah. That's just plain and simple. I've not been around a coach that emphasizes rebounding, and he will look heavily at the assist turnover ratio, especially in this kind of game. Alice Lloyd's got to win that column to have a chance in this game. And I think, you know, when you get Alice, right down to it, Coach Brown mentioned about a shooter. Yeah. That's, that's Hendricks. Yeah. Averages 24 points a game, and that's the shooter. He didn't name him. We didn't have to name There you go. So he's averaging 24 points a game. So who do you put on Hendricks to keep him from scoring? Uh, and, and, yeah. and, and, and the Wills kid, the last time we were over here, played yeah. some really good minutes. So look for him to be that. Landon Napier, he played really, really well in that last game we were here. So Absolutely. some people that we're going to see, Jack Brown with his athleticism, he's going to play an active part of in this game as well. I'm kind of curious, guys, to see what kind of defense Coach Cornett comes up with. Can Alice Lloyd play this IU man defense, guys? Or does he go with a matchup and try to push them out the floor a little bit? It'll be curious to see, and we'll be ready to see here for long. Just a little over three minutes. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and get ready for the men's game from Pippa Pass. Stay with us. 
No one likes an uninvited guest, especially when that guest is a potentially dangerous pest. So call Bluegrass Pest Management and let the pros take care of your problem. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, providing much needed jobs to local people. With three locations in Hazard, London, and Hindman, they treat rats, mice, roaches, bed bugs, termites, and many more. Open Monday through Friday and now servicing all of Kentucky. Say goodbye to your uninvited guests today. Call Bluegrass Pest Management. What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options, so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. If you're looking for a convenient pharmacy location with a friendly, caring staff, look no further than Heinemann Pharmacy, located inside the new Heinemann Primary Care Center. Our pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 6.30, but always stays open until the last patient is seen. Whether you need to pick up your refills in our drive through need a favorite medicine for your little ones, or something to feel better after a visit to the clinic, the Heinemann Pharmacy inside Primary Care has got you covered. Located at 425 Heinemann Bypass, call the Heinemann Pharmacy at 785-0513. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. Welcome back to the Perry Center. My name is Blair, Jamie Hughes, Dave Adams with you tonight for college basketball. Indiana University Southeast will be going against the Alice Lloyd College Eagles. So starting lineups just about 15 seconds away. And uh, we'll get this going. And guys, Coach Wiley Brown, a Louisville graduate, Louisville player, Dewan Tweet. His played. assistant, we, pretty good. Yeah. He played pretty good. college, but we failed to mention that he also played football as well. Two years. That's pretty impressive, guys, to be able to just say you were part of that program yeah, on both sides. And a good guy, too, fellas. I've several conversations with him over the years. Uh, there have been kids that were looking for places to play, and he picked the phone up and called and get them places to play. He didn't have to do that. Yeah. He's done that numerous times. and. And I appreciate guys like that that's helped make this conference much, much better. He's a very nice guy in uh, first class, Wiley Brown. Yep. When you've done this as long as I have, you learn to appreciate the folks that will be good to you because they're not all <laughs> are that way. Yeah, that's for sure. But and he, that's true in any fraternity. Class act, Wiley Brown is. Any fraternity you're a part of. And right down there on the other bench, Scott Cornett and Gary Stepp, good quality guys. and good people to uh, be around these young men and show them the right ways to go. We're ready for the starting lineups. And I think we may have mis made a mistake on the starting lineup. Maybe not. But uh, the number five, senior forward J.J. Reed. Number 13, Lane Lauderball. Number 25, uh, Ethan Hathaway. And uh, I'm not really sure what happened on that. <laughs> But number three, Jacoby Hendricks. You know. And of course, we've already said in the 17th year, Wiley Brown and their record is eight and nine on the season. I think if Coach Brown has not changed, Manus, he, he moves the line up around about every game. He switched it some yeah. there. A couple guys, yeah. I think, Manus, we got to double check that whether or not even the name and the number matches the jersey. We'll, well double check it for you. I think Caleb Brown came out, so. 
I think they made a mistake, but as we go with the Alice Lloyd Eagles, number three, Jack Brown, number 20, that will be Micah Wills. Big Michael Wills getting his first start here at home. I and they need him to play start of the year. Need, need him to play big, big minutes, my friend. And this kid here, Brady Nelson, been playing really well. His confidence is continuing to rise. Played exceptionally well the last time we were here along with Jared Strickland. And they'll need him more than ever tonight as he and Strickland will have to carry the offense early in this one. And you had number 44, Jackson Tackett, 25. Jared Strickland to make out Coach Cornett's starting lineup, and they're 10 and 9 on the season. Strickland, we had talked about before, guys. I think it's crucial for him. I'm going to be honest with you. He's got to have a pretty good ball game in the rebounding department. He's got to hit shots for them. And uh, he's got he's got to play a lot of minutes tonight. He's very athletic, and uh, he he's a solid player out of Kingsport, Tennessee. Hello to all of you tuning in tonight on Facebook and YouTube. Be sure to hit those like and shares for us. And here we go. Alice Lloyd gets the tip. Manus, they'll go left to right for the folks tuning in. And uh, IU Southeast is in a two-three as Strickland uh, gives it up to Tackett. Matchup zone, as uh, David Adams always mentions. Yeah, this level you'll see when you do play uh, zone, you'll see it matched. You won't see it high school zone. Wills at point blank misses it. Rebound comes down to Lauderball. Little jitters, I would imagine, getting your first start. And Davenport is starting, and I did not call his name. I think we had a little bit of uh, difference of uh, Hathaway is uh, number 25. He was in the starting lineup. Reed takes it against Wheels, goes up with the shot, misses it. Strickland comes down with the rebound. Comes off of Wheels' rear. <laughs> Tack it to the go. Goes up and under, and that's going to be a foul. And it looks like that foul is going to be on uh, number five. It's Robinson. No, not Robinson. Reed. It'd be Reed. DA, you will agree with me here. Sometimes the challenge is not picking up and carrying the load. It's the challenge of not doing too much. Right. Don't want to do too much. Just play your game here early it, on and let it come to you. That's exactly right. As Tackett will go. You know, and you mentioned early on, guys, it's very crucial that Al Sloan gets a good start in this ball game. Yeah. Very crucial. Tackett. With the first, and he knocks it down, 67% on the season. He's brought his guards back, so that lets us know he's not going to pick them up full court, going to meet them at half court. I don't blame him, but just as I say that, now he brings them back down, so who knows? On a make, we may see a little full court pressure. Tack it with a second make, and it uh, looks like token token pressure, uh, one, two, two. I think this is to take some time off the clock and maybe get a... Still there, and we're going to foul Willis as he just uh, hits the arm. But, guys, you, you know, you've seen him set this up, Coach Cornett, up here high, and I think it will take some time off the shot clock. As long as you don't let them throw it long yeah. on you, I like yeah. the thinking yeah, behind that. Because it slows Absolutely. everything right. down. Use a little of that clock on the other end of the court. And Wills was just a little bit late on that. If he'd stepped up, he yeah. may have had to steal as they threw it inside and the shot from deep. And it's going to come down. Good to box Brown. out. Good box out from both big men inside for Alice Lloyd. Thought that was crucial early and all through the game, the box out. As Strickland knocks down the three. Five nothing start for the Eagles. First half, 18. Menace, it was 2 2 1 there, right? 2 2 1, yes. A little over 18 minutes. This Strong drive underway. by Reed, and he lays it in, and it's going to be a block. That on can Brown. happen on the full court pressure, no. though. No, that can can't. happen. You're not going to be able to let him attack the rim that easy. Usually you put your five man all the way back because normally he's the slowest. He's got to cover the lane and get there in time. And Reed is shooting 57% on the season as he try to complete the three-point play, and he does. And now they're going to go full court pressure here as well. This is like normal man. for Coach Brown's teams. I've seen, seen a lot of nope. his, and he two, likes two, one, it. Still. I said it was man. I got confused. That was a 2 2 1. Strickland in and out, dribble in, and it's blocked. And the rebound is going to be tied up. 
25 reds, and it was out of bounds on the jump. <laughs> The fire's still there. Watch Coach Riley. He's as animated as he was the first time I saw him. Did not like that, Kyle. Wheels on the, uh, had Tackett on the duck end, but missed him. Nelson with a, kicks it to Wheels. Wheels don't even look at the basket, guys. Got to get it up, and he barely gets it up, and it's going to be a shot clock violation. No, that's what yes, that sir. causes yes, sir. when you don't look at the basket when you go. Oh, well, and again, the big man needs to go to the low post. If they're going to play that, he's got to, that high block low. He's got to block. be on the block to block. He's just yeah. not comfortable on that free throw line. So two, two, one, once again to slow them down. Reed straight line drive. Nobody there. Not very good defense that time, guys. No, not from the paint down, from the free throw line down. The Eagles are And that's going to be late. Wheels' second foul. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm anxious to see where they come here. Might be Robinson I could see coming in. They, they'll have to make a substitution here. Uh, Actually going to come drive. with Ben. Yeah. There's that two or three minutes I was talking about is Reed. Not You'd like to wait it a little bit longer because, like you said, now that you put him in, he's probably got to play now. With that ankle, you couldn't take him right back out and expect him to go back out a second time, I don't think, fellas. Yep, and, uh, big Ben comes in the game, and uh, the big guy got two quick ones, so he's going to see it for a while. I love to watch Coach Gary step, the assistant coach. He took the big man over to the side and explain to him you got to leave your man and slide one step over and help out there he's right what's going on man Reed makes it and he's got five to start off with tomorrow to the basket and it's going to be a turnover as lauderball steals the basketball comes up gives kicks it over go to the big man inside with the left hand missed it gets his own rebound puts it up and puts it in they don't away. have an answer for that. They'll have to front him. Somebody will have to deny that pass to him down low. Yeah. We don't have an answer to play somebody behind him. Had away a big guy, 6'11". Oh, and yeah. He's Pretty good footwork there on that position. Tackett with a three, knocks it down. Tackett uh, coming out early and playing well for the Eagles. 8'7". Ben tried it and one. can't go, guys. He just came over to Coach Corden and said, can't do it. And with he got the heart, he, there's no way he takes himself out of the game. Just not able to do it. So I don't blame him. I'd rest and be ready for the next one. Yep. Hadaway is fouled, and that's going to be on Strickland. Yeah. Yeah, coach is just going to have, and Ben knows it. Ben's going to walk off and say, you well. You play in two days. Maybe you try then. But yeah. His north south was fine. It was left right. Lateral east west. Movement. His lateral movement lateral just wasn't. Movement. And I, I told you guys, I went over and watched him just to see if it wasn't there. Hadaway will shoot two, shooting 46% yeah. from the free throw line. Yeah. Nice roll as it goes in. Here's Robinson that I thought we'd see just a minute ago. So he has had a couple starts this year. You don't lose a great deal there. Bringing him in, you just needed Ben's presence. And so with that said, though, you throw it up and play as hard as you can play here. And you got to look down the road. You can't uh, injure, re-injure an ankle that he just that needs you out time. For the season. time. He's Those to high while, springs, guys. guys, takes a while. Yep. Strickland with a step back and misses it. Cut with a lot of. Uh, it comes down and Reed's got the basketball, goes up and misses it. Hadaway with the rebound. Thought he got fouled. Robinson comes down with it. Robinson kicks to Brown. Brown with a two and knocks it down. Foot was on the line and he clicks it twice. Eagles back in front by one and South Carolina leading Kentucky by five down in Columbia right now, 30-25, first half. Third lead change of the game so far, Manus. We got a good one, 10-9. to nine. Alice Lloyd leading IU Southeast with the basketball. And Tackett is trying to battle down there with Hathaway in the paint. Reed calling for the screen, three, two, uh, one. He gets it off and almost knocks it in. No one box out. Lauderball, and he missed the bunny. Robinson with a rebound. 
up to Strickland. Strickland goes inside, steps, and throws it out of bounds. Yep, out and, of hand uh, there. And uh, uh, knee to knee contact with uh, Reed, and he's shaking it off. I felt like, again, I even talked about it, not uh, not trying to do too much, and that was the case of it right there, trying to do too much. Water ball strong, had away with the offense for rebound, misses it, and it will stay with IU Southeast as uh, Landon Napier will come off the bench for the Eagles. Napier's a shooter as well, so they need his help. Got a timeout here, looks like. And yeah, gonna we're going to take a full one, and we, we will as well. 10-9 or score, Eagles by one. We'll be back. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at TimShortAutoGroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. Welcome back to the Perry Center here on the campus. Alice Lloyd College, Jamie Hughes, Manus Blair, Dave Adams, hey. and all the hometown how, crew. How about our buddies with the Savannah Bananas watching us tonight? Mr. Dalton Corney got all of them tuning in tonight. Hey. So let's give a shout out to all of them. Hello to my friend Tyler Rogers. T-Rod was one of the best to ever play here, guys. I had a chance to call every home game that he played. He's got us tuned in down there. He can shoot it a little bit. Oh, you know, I, I, won't, I won't tell you this to everybody, you and Manus. Uh, his wife, much better ball player than he was. Much better. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, now. <laughs> They're both Hall of Famers, so they I can't are. say you're wrong. She was a daddy, a great person. Both of those people, Tyler and her, it is great people. I and told I, you that Miss Park Mills would well. be watching tonight. Uh, she absolutely. is indeed. Give her a shout out. Reed with the isolation on Robinson. Nelson comes with a dig down, no foul call, a lot of contact. And that's going to be tacking as he goes out of bounds. <laughs> And Tackett's oh. going to pick up his first. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Tackett agreed with that, guys. Not he at all. wasn't the only one. <laughs> uh, a lot of contact prior to that. Looked like a pinball machine. In the 70s, they would have called that a force out and give the ball back. <laughs> but they don't do that anymore. But uh, here we go. We got some kids Hard at ball. home Googling what a pinball machine even is. Yeah. Shot put up, and won't go. Get, and they'll get Elton John. <laughs> yeah. uh, here we go. Reed with a long three. You knocks it down. Made that one and silenced the crowd. Put his team back up 12 to 10. Got eight. Alice Lord in a wide five. Tack it to the go, gives it up to Brown. Brown goes up, and he's going to be fouled. Put that over the rim. Quit trying to draw the foul. You caught it over the rim. 14.09 to play, though, and Brown will go to the line. And that's going to be a big one because that's going to be the second. That's going to be the second foul on Reed. DA, so many times that earlier I mentioned this, I got asked about the difference in the 14th and 15th region versus Alice Lloyd College style basketball. Reed can play D1. There's not a doubt in my mind that there are D1 schools that he could go play on. But a lot of times you get two or three of those guys on a team that you'll face throughout the schedule. Oh, yeah, you will. Uh, that's like Treat that played at West Virginia Tech back in the day who we went and played for the Lakers. I mean, <laughs> fantastic player, Sadell yeah. Treat was. As Brown makes the second one. Played at West Virginia Tech. It's the Golden the Bears. You know, I think of NIA, uh, NAIA, I think of Scotty Pippen playing oh, NAIA. Yeah. As Lauderball goes up, Hathaway was strong and puts that guy it right in. there is really hurting the Eagles. That's the big difference in this game, guys, so far. Got to put rebounding. a body on him. Yeah. Got to put a body on him. Robinson trying to beat his man off to Napier, and Anderson's in the basketball game as well. And Keithley, Brown with a spin, back tip, and it's off. And the Hendricks has got the basketball, gives it up to Lauderball, and he lays it in. Nice give up. Alice Lloyd needs a bucket here, fellas. Robinson with it. 
And that's going to be a kick basketball. The difference in the game, I use being able to shoot till they make it so far down on the other end, and uh, that's something that's, uh, you know, also just got to keep working, blocking out stronger, and uh, the big guys really hurting them on as, IU. As Johnson Hadaway. comes in the basketball game, and Hadaway is going to take a break. They had initially said reset the clock, but it was above 20, so it's going to go to 23 seconds and remain there as Anderson has the basketball. Keithley to Curry. Anderson with a deep three, it rolls and goes. Big bucket there. Big bucket. Staves yep. off uh, IU Southeast. Good move. Misses it. And that was uh, Brown that shot that one. Anderson looking for his shot, gives it up to Robinson. Landon Napier from deep, misses it. No box out on Robinson. He goes up, misses it. Keith Lee with a tip, doesn't go. Hendricks with the rebound. Gives it up to Lauderball, three against two. Jump shot, misses it. Anderson with the rebound. And uh, Davenport had the wide open three. Curry with a step back, shoots it, knocks it down. Big Eagle. shot for Curry, wait, wait, wait. my friend. Yes, he can he can get hot, too. He's one of those guys that's capable of getting threes in bunches. 17. And that's going to be a moving screen. 17 to 16. Guys, have you noticed anything since when the big guy went out? It seemed like it's completely different. Ball game. That and Reed's second foul changed yeah. the complexion of the game. Yeah. I believe, uh, no, uh, yeah, and definitely that changed with Hathaway going out as well and made them a little bit shorter on the floor. Koji will set the offense for Alice Lloyd going inside to Keefley, going to go to work down on that low post. Napier with a fake leaner and it goes in. Landon Napier. Napier said, shooter. Mr. Adams, you watch me do this all the time over in Perry County. Yeah, he's a great shooter, Landon is. Davenport will set the offense. The shot goes up by Johnson, and he knocks it down. They're coming back with Reed with those two fouls. This is how important he is to this team. So if I'm Alice Lloyd, I go straight at him. We're tied at 19, and Johnson on. almost steals the basketball from Robinson. Curry kick out to Robinson for the three, and he misses it. Rebound comes down to Brown, out to Johnson. Johnson sprints down to Lauderball. Brown will shoot the deep, deep three, and it's off Anderson with a rebound. Here comes the Eagles. Gives it up to Robinson, and he's going to lay it in. Coach Fourth lead on. change. Alice Lloyd has regained the lead. 21-19, 10-50 to play in. Yeah, it looks like Coach Brown is going to take a uh, – 30-second timeout, so guys, we'll leave it here with that. And, uh, you know, the difference, uh, Hadaway went out and Reed got his second foul, like you all mentioned, and uh, when those two guys are out line up, uh, how you becomes a little more balanced to the it, Eagles guy. And it changes everything as far as Hadaway was pounding the backboard and then getting his position inside. And it was after Wills goes out with his second foul, it's kind of a mismatch with Tackett being inside as well. And uh, as we're talking here, Perry Central is ahead of Wolf County, 34 to 25 in the second quarter with 3.25 to go. Uh, big game down there at the Pumpkin Palace, uh, <laughs> as uh, David Adams once called it. I uh, miss old punk. I miss that chair down there. Yeah, Punk, he's sight. Uh, he, boy, he watched many ball games, and uh, he oh, loved yeah. them. Yeah. Tell you. Uh, he most certainly did. Robinson with pressure on Lauderball. Johnson, kick out to Brown for the deep three, misses it. Rebound comes down to Curry. Kick to Robinson, back to Curry. Pump fake, step back. Robinson gives it up to Anderson for the deep three, knocks it down. Little music, Peppa Pass. Second three for Anderson after coming off the bench. 24-19 and just over 10 to play first half. Reed with the basketball goes up and he is fouled, I believe, and the basket will go. 
got to the rim too easy there, Manus. If you're going to let him get that close to the rim, you're going to have to decide because if you let him get that far in, not going to end up good for you. And Keithley will pick up his first as Reed will try to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Shot up, and it's off to the right as Keithley will rebound it. Robinson says, I need a, a blow, so look for him to come out. Curry with a kick. Nobody was there, and it goes out of bounds. Napier was going backdoor off the uh, left wing. Unforced. Got to see the man, there. fellas. I've heard both of you say it. You got to see the guy you're passing that to. Reed, another straight line drive, and like Jamie says, if he's not, you're not already there. It'll be a long a night if you let him get to the rim that easy. And they like to go to the rim. Oh, he's going to go early does. and often. You're right. He's got his average already. He has 12. Anderson, and he's got a trifecta as he makes the third three of the first half. He's playing well right now, the young man is. 27-23, Eagles leading. Attaway with a strong screen for Reed. Reed is strong. You talk about a strong drive, guys. Hey, you know every time he drives, he either gets the bucket or a foul. Now, Jamie, Coach Corn's going to have to switch the D on the lane uh, because he's going to drive it each time down. So we'll take a break with... 920 go in the first half, Eagles by four. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. 27-23 here at the Perry Center. What a nice place it is to come and see a college basketball game. Folks, if you want to see some good college basketball, pick a game out and come on over to the center and you will not be disappointed. Uh, you going to the line, Jamie Manus, and uh, Reed has been the Man. Yeah, he's tough. IU Southeast he and Hathaway is. as he misses the first. He's Give a shout out to, to our friends down in Jackson, Kentucky, as the Lady Bobcats play them with Betsy Lane right now, 22 to 20. I wondered how they'd be without their star player. Yeah. And misses both, does Reed. And happy birthday to Coach Jeff Honeycutt. We're not going to say how old he is today. 28. <laughs> How about his baby boy spotting up and hitting a three to send it to overtime down there today. So happy yeah. birthday, Dad, as Joseph hit the three to send it to overtime. I don't have a final score from that game. It may not be final, but I'll get it for you just in a moment. Curry with a step back and short. Reed with a rebound, tries to outlet the basketball and it's stolen. No, it's not, is it? No, yeah. Well, they look like the defense from NFL back here. And Robinson. Uh, he come down and hit his head, guys. I seen that on the second bounce. And come down, and he's a little shook up. I think he's going to be all right. But we'll take a 30-second uh, break, and we'll come right back after this. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Hi, I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big injuries. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. 27-23, and uh, guys, any other scores around the area that, uh, it, did we get a Letcher Prairie score? Working on that, trying to find that for you right now. I knew you were gonna ask me that. I, I think that enough. could be a pretty good basketball game up at Whitesburg. As Robinson is up, and he is shaking. Yes, he is. He landed hard, but I'm glad to see the young man walking off. Guys, uh, he's a tough one. Tough, tough break for Breathitt as they fail to Rowan County, 81-58. And Alice Lloyd has six players right now on the floor. So Keithley comes off. That game was played at round, and uh, they'll head to Corbin for the all yeah. Got that early morning game. I yes. hate that. They play Thursday, right? Yes, sir. Maynard's reminded me the only thing worse than playing at 10 was playing at 8. <laughs> right, yeah. Either one's a little too early to play high school and basketball. And it's going to be a body foul on Hathaway as he was not exactly where he needed to be. You know, Brett, it uh, has been off a long time and not had a game just like the rest of them. I expected that. I wanted to yeah. talk about that when we had a little extra time. Yeah. A lot of our teams haven't played the eight. Some of them ain't played in 14 days. I know. Yeah, it's it crazy. makes it tough. And your practice is cut down. They're not the same. And it's tough. It takes some time to come back. And then all of the makeup games that Strickland will have one more. I don't think that we'll have enough officials to make up all the games that have been canceled because of this weather. And you may see some Saturday afternoon and Sunday games. And then you yeah. talked about make it the other day, difference. double headers, I think are now are gonna be a necessity, not just something they're gonna try. I think they'll have to play yep. some double headers here in the next couple of weeks. As Strickland misses both free throws and he is clearly frustrated by that. Yeah, you can't do that in a game like this. Reed being taken off the dribble and uh, picks it up, gives the ball to Hendricks. Hendricks to the ball up and knocks it down, and that is his first two points of the basketball game. They put a lot of emphasis on guarding him. 27-25, Alice Lloyd with the lead and the ball. Landon Napier takes his man back door to relieve the pressure. Curry kicks it out to Landon Napier, and it will roll in. Nice assist, Curry. Landon Napier is a guy that can light Light it up, four or five of those in a row if you don't pay attention to him. Hadaway with a cut, misses it. Rebound by Strickland, and Hadaway is going to pick up a cheap foul 94 feet away from the gun. That's his second, too. He's picked up back-to-back -back fouls here in about 30 seconds, and so he'll get some time over here in the blue padded seat. Got frustrated and uh, missed an easy one, and... Uh, you know, got himself with that second foul. And the big man always, if he nudges someone, they go down. <laughs> always. You are right. Anderson trying to get it into Tackett. Tackett will work, spins, get up and under, left hand, missed it. And that's going to be a foul, I believe, on uh, Strickland. Strickland, yes, I believe. Yes, you are correct. Yep. Made a good move and just did not finish that with that left hand. And you Went know, up and under, got his big man up yeah, in the air. You're right, man. Everything but the finish was yeah. right about that one. But when uh, you shoot through a forest, sometimes you bound to hit a limb. <laughs> and uh, sometimes when you got the number 42 <laughs> line, I'm sorry. I've never heard that I, before. <laughs> that's got to be called Robin Hood. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's dub that a Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, my. As uh, Lang will go to the free throw line and, he is a part of that forest oak tree forest. I was just getting ready to brag about how much I'd learned from you fellas. <laughs> but <laughs> there's another chapter in the book. We will call that one Robin Hood. Uh, <laughs> Sherwood Forest. <laughs> but Lang misses that one, and of course he is long and rangy. As Curry, and that's blocked by Lauterball. Yes. Right. He had his teammate open over here, just did not see him. Reed active, kicks it, and Curry picks it off. After making the turnover, he even Stevens it. 
Well, that's such a word. We've got to go back to Napier. Oh, it is. We, uh, we, we say that all the time. Even Steven, Steven likes it. 30-25. Yeah. <laughs> Anderson. Step back and misses it. Tackett with trying to get if the If that had went, this building would have rattled from the crowd. James they wanted Harden that one to fall. As Carmichael will come in for Curry, and Brown will come in, and I think he's going to come in for, uh, yeah, he's right back in the basketball game for Jones. Anderson's playing some good ball tonight. I, I like him. He's, he's making improvements as he goes. Tack it to Brown, and I hadn't seen Brown come back in the basketball game. Landon Napier rises up and knocks it down. Napier's feeling it. He just shot an arrow for you, Manus. I saw He just that. shot the Robin Hood arrow but after he, he made it. He's doing the old microwave <laughs> impersonation oh. coming off the bench. He's got eight points as Reed goes up, lobbed to Lang, and it's just a little bit over. I did not know if you, I didn't know if you could throw it over Lang or not. And, <laughs> right ideal, just a little too much on it. He's right up there. He was trying to take change off the top of that backboard. Nice look, though, by Reed. Brown bringing it up, working against uh, uh, Brown against Brown. Tack it to the Lang straight up, and the tack it learned from it as he puts it in. One of my favorite shots, that little hook. Ten-point lead. Alice Lloyd leading it 35-25, but you can't set it down now. 5.30 to play in the first half. Not with this team. Kick out to Brown, and he knocks it down. Assist to Hendricks. Because <laughs> this team can strike quickly. They won't quit, I promise you that. Not to the end of the second half. Carmichael rises up. It misses it all too long, no. and here goes Reed. <laughs> and he goes straight in. Euro step and puts it in. Fourteen for Reed. Look at here, Alice Lloyd with a basketball and throws Reed, it away. Reed out hustled everybody as Hendricks goes in. It's out and Napier is out of bounds. <laughs> that play was made by Reed diving on the floor, and uh, we've got a media timeout. The DA take that timeout. We did. Uh, we we need a break it. way they're going. Well, uh, let's take one. 4.52 to go, 35.30. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 35-30, your score, Alice Lloyd by five. We're in the first half at the Prairie Center. Pretty nice crowd on hand. A lot of the students have made their way in. Still with the weather uh, improving, guys. It is improving. It's I know what today. I would have been doing over here when that snow came. They would have been hollering, Menifee Huff and all that bunch would be. So, well, all of this bunch. What would they have been saying to us? <laughs> you know, my get daddy off told that hillside <laughs> and get you a shovel and shovel that My snow. daddy told me that when I came here, he said, Menifee Huff's a great guy, but avoid him the first year because if you take up with him, you'll be working grounds the whole four years you're over there. Yeah, that's true. He's been here <laughs> oh, many, many my, years. This school owes him so much, man, and, yeah. and they will. They acknowledge him and respect him for all he's done for this place. 31, 35, 451. And, and that uh, was Lauder ball that makes the first of two, shooting 66%. The foul was on Landon Napier, and the second one is too long, and Tackett comes down and rips it down. Tackett's hit the boards well for Anderson the to the night. goal, left hand, and good. Coach, you playing his best game that I've seen yeah. in, in a 
month of Sundays. It's and they've been looking for this Koji Anderson here. And yeah. right when they needed him to the most, he's stepping his game up. Well, I'm going to be honest. This is the best I've seen that young man play. And he's, if he keeps going like this, he's going to, he's going to be a dandy. Give him 12 in the first half. Johnson, to a nice give and go. Johnson goes up, stripped by Tackett, goes to the floor. Hendricks went deep downtown, misses it. Rebound comes down to Let's Brown. Let's reward the big man. Tackett's working too hard. Let's give him the ball down on this end. And a tough oh. pass by Napier. Hendricks with a basketball left-hand dribble up to Reed and puts it down. A little slam there. That quieting the crowd or he got them a little excited one or the other, oh, depending absolutely. on who you're looking at. <laughs> and that's what you're talking about with that in, uh, athleticism. It's a snap of the fingers and you're giving oh, up yeah. two on the other end. Manus, do you know how many of those I would have had if I could have done that? <laughs> <laughs> as close as I've ever got to that is uh, I could have left, that right, up, down on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Anderson misses it, but rebound, strong rebound comes down to Johnson. Uh, Hendricks oh. with a left-hand dribble. Anderson may have fired that in too early, guys. Looks up to Reed. He is fouled, and that will count. You're going to make that foul. you got to come up with a basketball. You can't allow him to make that in that spot. And foul him, too. And that's going to be Tackett's second as Reed will shoot to do the old-fashioned three. You that's held up 10 digits out. a moment ago, D.A. You said Alice Lowe was up 10. Yeah. And you said, but they're not going to go away, and it's no, back to a two-point ball game. If, if it was 20, this team's not going to go away. They're going to play. I know Coach Brown. They're going to play 40 minutes where it's good or bad. They're going to play 40. If you're just tuning in, Ben Shamaro tried to play, just wasn't able to. He has since uh, changed to street clothes, so he won't go. And Devontae Robinson suffered what we would believe a concussion. I don't think we'll see him the rest of the night either. Napier left-hand dribble to Keithley. Thought about it. Back to Napier. Will shoot the three. Misses it. Tried to draw the foul. Rebound by Reed as he brings it up. Settles down. Hendricks with the... Drive the floater, good. That is being I use big game guys driving the lane, and Al Slow has really not cut them off and uh, made adjustments there. And we are tied up. Keep it close here as Jack goes down the lane, That's lays good. it up, and it's good. That's a nice drive. Kept the ball low and went off the square. Now you Southeast had the old uh, Red C defense there. Brown took advantage of it as Hendricks with a fake got him up in the air, goes to Lauterbaum, and he misses. Rebound comes down to Anderson, kicks to Keithley. Keithley with a step through and lays it in. Nice job by Anderson advancing the basketball up. One of Josh Cornett's favorite players, sir. Absolutely. 38-42, Eagles back by four. Reed with a kick out to Lauterbaum and missed it. Johnson came in strong, and the rebound will remain. Uh, the possession will remain with IU Southeast as Wilgus Tosin comes in the basketball game. He was down here before anyone else getting some shots. I'd like to see this kid get a couple big breaks here. Davenport with a kick to Hendricks. Jumper got it. Give him six. Good spacing, but the Eagles take the jumper. Nice rebound, Keithley out to Anderson, who's been hot, and he missed it. Reed with two-hand rebound. Hendricks takes off, back tilt by Wilgus Tosin to Anderson. Anderson to Wilgus Tosin, gives it up unselfishly. Oh, that's a Napier. beautiful pass, man. That's a sweet pass. Tosin out of Wolf County High School. And Napier is in double figures with 10. Davenport thought about it. Don't get lost defensively here if you're out of slow. Flyer screen for Reed for the three, and he knocks it down. You got to pick your poison, guys. Yep, you got to decide, do. am I going to help or am I going to leave the low post? And that won't work. Tosin with a kick to Landon Napier. Pump fake, and it just off. 
Johnson with a rebound, almost out of bounds. Throws it to Tulsa, gives it up to Keithley. Knocked away, and it will stay with the Eagles. Would no. like to have seen Tolson take that one now. I would have too. I bragged nice on him shooter. making a great pass, but in that spot there, you take that shot. 52.4 seconds, Alice Lloyd 44-43, one point lead in the basketball. And it's gonna be a turnover as Lauderball knocked it away from Keithley. Nice bounce pass for the dunk. 45-44, IU by one. Hendrick saw the floor and Lauderball put it down. As he caught that off the bounce pass and dunked it. That's pretty impressive. Brown with a drive, gives it up to Keithley, pump fakes, and it's blocked by Lauderball. Comes off the top of Reed's head, stays in bounds, and they'll go for the last shot of the uh, first half. Clock down to 11. I'm sure we're gonna see something with the screen and roll right here. Double team, kicker to Davenport, gotta get it up. Got to get it up, and he does, and it goes. Basket will be good, 47-44. Yep. Big shot, 47-44, like Jamie called it, and uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back to talk scores in the area when we come back with the man Toyota at the Hive, so stay with us on this Tuesday college basketball night. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are. And our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. KRCC cares. I just want to watch the game. That turn on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do, but with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. A lot has changed in a hundred years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. This is the fourth app. I don't remember any of these passwords. With so many subscriptions, it can be impossible to keep up. Who said that? Don't worry about who I am. Worry about all the money you're losing paying for all these subscriptions. I have to use like 13 to watch all the shows I want to watch. Then sign up for TVS. With TVS, you have all your favorite shows with just one bill. So stop throwing away money and throw away those subscriptions. 
Magellan, what should we do with all this money we save by switching to TVS? Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to kick off 2024. Now till the end of the year, get the iPhone 13 for one penny with a trade-in. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig with trade-in on a two-year contract with the mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. Now that's a happy new year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. No one likes an uninvited guest, especially when that guest is a potentially dangerous pest. So call Bluegrass Pest Management and let the pros take care of your problem. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, providing much needed jobs to local people. With three locations in Hazard, London, and Hindman, they treat rats, mice, roaches, bed bugs, termites, and many more. Open Monday through Friday and now servicing all of Kentucky. Say goodbye to your uninvited guests today. Call Bluegrass Pest Management. What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. If you're looking for a convenient pharmacy location with a friendly, caring staff, look no further than Heinemann Pharmacy. Located inside the new Heinemann Primary Care Center, our pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 6.30, but always stays open until the last patient is seen. Whether you need to pick up your refills in our drive through need a flavored medicine for your little ones, or something to feel better after a visit to the clinic, the Heinemann Pharmacy inside Primary Care has got you covered. Located at 425 Heinemann Bypass, call the Heinemann Pharmacy at 785-0513. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. In Eastern Kentucky, being connected to the world has never been easier. With our 100 meg package at only $44.95 a month, you can be sure to always stay connected and up to date. But if that's not fast enough, we offer even faster. With the latest technology to make sure you're getting the most out of your service. Give us a call today or check out tgtel.com for more information. Thacker Grigsby, bringing the future to Eastern Kentucky. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. 
sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi. I'm attorney David Johnson. You may recognize me from some of our other ads, but injuries from an auto accident are no joking matter. With over 25 years of experience, our offices have the resources and expertise to go head to head with big insurance. While most of our cases get resolved without going to court, trust me, they know if the attorney you choose will take it this far. Either way, our clients get paid. So for all your legal needs, get the pros on your side. Welcome back to the man, Toyota, at the half here at the Prairie Center. 44-47 IU taking the lead late there, guys, with just under a minute to go. And uh, do we have any scores in the area that we'd like to talk about? I'm sure Jamie is looking through the score. Is Wolf County still behind? Yeah, trailing in that third quarter as they go into the fourth. Uh, and we'll keep watching that one. And then... Uh, Hurry with a seven or eight point lead there. Yes, sir. Uh, we've not heard from across the hill the Purry and Letcher girls game. That should be a tight game. But also we had some good ball games at our Harold Mullins Classic. Uh, Hazard over Not Boys by seven. And then uh, Not Central girls winning uh, late in the game. Big win for them over the Hazard Lady Dogs. And want to congratulate Car Creek over a two overtime win against Hazard. One of the better games everybody sees me that they've seen in a long time. <laughs> you know, and that's going to help Car Creek, fellas, as the Knott County Grade School Tournament begins tomorrow night. The C team tournaments will play Wednesday. Then they'll play the B team Friday. Going to play all day Saturday. And then we'll have championship Sunday. Uh, about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock for that 18 start. Uh, hometown Sports Corner, I'll have that, and we'll carry those games on Hometown 24 as well. And so good luck to all the grade school teams. I know Perry County's grade school tournament will begin this weekend as well. Is uh, East Perry the favorite? We'll be heavily favored over there. Uh, probably them and RW, maybe West Perry in that one. And, uh, over in Floyd County, a lot of really good grade school teams over there, and uh, we wish them all the best of luck. Of course, their goal is to get a play then in high school right here on Hometown 24. Absolutely. Manus, let's go over scoring a uh, couple of the top scores for each team, see where we're at with that. Uh, first for Indiana Southeast, uh, as we mentioned, J.J. Reed with 19 points. Oh, my. Hendricks with six. Lauderball with four. Brown with three. Hathaway with six, Johnson with three, Lang played but did not score. Uh, Davenport with a big bucket right there at the end, picked up his two points and Jones played and did not score. For the Alice Lloyd College Eagles, Koji uh, Anderson come off the bench when he has 12. Uh, Jack Brown with five, Robinson with two. Nelson, Carmichael and Tosin. Wills did not score in the first half. Curry had three, Landon Napier had 10, Strickland with three, Jackson Tackett had seven, Keithley with two for a total of 44 for the uh, Eagles and uh, hotly contested basketball game and uh, a lot of uh, give and go. But uh, Reed has been really the tough matchup along with Hathaway for the Eagles. Uh, Anderson came off the bench along with Napier and uh, hit some big shots and uh, got them out to that 10 point lead. And then uh, IU Southeast was able to uh, overcome that and uh, lead by three here at halftime. Alice Lloyd's ability to knock down the tray made the difference. They hit eight of them. They were eight of 16 from Trayville as opposed to IU Southeast only made four of them. 
that probably the difference in the ball game. The only reason Alice Lloyd's in the game, D.A., uh, then as far as the total rebounds go, Alice Lloyd got out rebounded by three. Not as bad as we thought perhaps it would be. 11 assists for Alice Lloyd to 10 for the IU Southeast. And then we, of course, you know I like to look at those turnovers. Even Steven has made yeah. us like to stay six to seven. Uh, so, Coach Corner, guys, for the hand he's been dealt, he's got to be, I think, happy. <laughs> Absolutely, especially with his main player well, not you, able to go tonight at all. you give up 16.6 points on the game, it's hard to make that up. Well, and that's what he scores. It's how many points he helps his teammates get and the how many things. times he tokes, he causes the other team to change their shot or alters their shot. Right. You miss a bunch. And then your sixth man, Devontae Robinson, suffers what we would believe to be a concussion. He's probably, I don't think, going to go the rest of the way. And so it's a depleted offense, to say the least. And then when you look at your leading scorer, and Strickland right now has three points. So to be just down three right now, uh, right in the basketball game. But you can do one of two things, and I know you both coaches have said this many times. You can be happy with playing a good first half, or you can work hard and be in this thing in the fourth quarter. That's what Coach Cornett wants. Absolutely. He's not going to be satisfied with a, a one-possession game at halftime. It's the final score. He wants to keep and this thing close exactly down right. to the last three and, minutes. And I didn't mention uh, Jackson Tackett, but he's done a good job in there. And, and you can't fade away against the big guy. He's got two fouls. He's going to put his hand straight up, put your shoulder right into him, and, and don't make yourself short by fading away because he's going to put it back on you. Offensive rebound will be a big, big thing. You got to control the boards, box them out. You're not going to keep them from getting to the rim, as we found out, but you can keep them from getting second and third opportunities. And they have had a really hard time keeping Reed from getting to the go. Right. Landon Napier, I thought, come in and played well, guys, for Al Sloan. He they and need Anderson him. both off yeah, the bench. Played and, well. Uh, played super well. Well. We're getting ready, guys, for the uh, second half here, and want to thank everybody for the man Toyota at the half. Had a few scores there. There's there's some games in there. I think Breathitt went down to Round County today. That was played at Round County, and Breathitt's first game in a while. Everybody trying to get back in the flow again. And hey, let's mention too before we get started, Breathitt and Knott County have decided to play a game. That was not a regular scheduled game, but they will play each other in about three weeks. I thought that was kind of interesting too, man. Get ready for the tournament. I feel like that's what it is, my and friend. And you know, you will have like, with weathered cancellations. Is that game people, at Knott or Breathitt? I would. I'm pretty sure it's at Breathitt. Okay. I'll get you that for sure. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's. I want to remind everyone out there too. I've been getting texts about the tournament. The girls' tournament is at Estill County. The boys is at Powell. And Hometown 24 will be doing those games. And we have to carpool. <laughs> <laughs> and take a vote on who's driving. Don't worry about it. Josh and the gang will have a taxi. So well, don't worry about it. We better get a minivan because we're going to put the miles on. <laughs> it's one thing uh, to go down for one of them, but they're both down there oh that yeah other, uh, other side of I the region i wonder if josh will buy bologna or ham sandwiches we for better that. pack us a lunch as we yeah. get this one back under way right by any sausage as uh hendrix starts the second half gives oh. up the read and we uh reed's already beat him off the dribble lauder ball with the deep three and knocks it down nice. since three that's a dagger to get started you won't you don't want them to get out of the gate, get running 50 44, well, IU by six. Once again, they didn't get the uh, defensive rebound, and as a result of that, it cost them three points. First two minutes of this second half is crucial, guys. Nelson gives it up to Strickland, who shoots his three and knocks it down. Strickland's got to get in there and help his team and get some buckets because they need him. So they match threes with threes here. Let's see with a high post screen for Hathaway as he rolls to the basketball go. And Reed kicks it to Larbaugh. Tough catch, and he stepped back and out of bounds on the sideline. Nice sportsmanship getting a basketball to the referee. Coach Brown said, yep, you stepped out of bounds. But then he turned and asked the referee, was he really out? <laughs> you got to love it, fellas. Uh, you got to 18.50 to play here in the second half. Uh, you got to play head games sometimes with your basketball players. And uh, 
Napier might have got by with one there. It looked like the ball was on a yo-yo there. He may have got by with one. Jackie with a pump fake, spins, gives it to Strickland, pump fake. Jared's too good of a shooter, should have taken that first one. Brown gets it off before the shot clock and uh, Hadaway with a rebound. Hendricks against Brown. Nice job of Brown stopping him, Th kicks it to Reed, touch pass, nice ball rotation. Hendricks up with a shot. Money. Well, that's a tough shot. Sometimes you, you worry about you. being selfish, but right now Strickland's got to be selfish. He has to shoot the ball. They got to get some offense through him. Yeah. 52-47. Ayuba five. Tack it. Trying to work in the post. Spins back, gives it back to Strickland it's with 12 quick. seconds. Not not good space in there, guys. Yeah, Strickland no with move. a three, and it's a little bit long. Hendricks with a rebound. In and out dribble, spins, goes up, and he's got hit on the horn. And that's on Brown. That's his second. Hendricks, a 81% free throw shooter, will go to the line for the first time tonight. First one's up, and it's good. Leads at six, and uh, this team is uh, starting to put a little more pressure defensively on half court on the Eagles, guys. They've, they've got to get a, in a flow and get some good-looking shots here going where they can score some buckets. This is the second Strickland with a rebound. Got to stop, stop your man as Nelson goes up with a deep three and knocks it down. Nelson, four, three. I His talked first. in the pregame about how big he's been playing, and they need him to play well here in this second half. Brown with a basketball in the deep corner. Hadaway trying to get uh, position on uh, wheels as Brown shoots the deep three, and he knocks it down. That was a tough shot. I thought he was covered well defensively that time. Should have been Nelson. bounced. Yep. And he's going to pick up the take foul. And uh, in the NBA, that would have been uh, a take foul. And 10 is going to call, uh, be called for it. That's uh, Nelson. Coach Coaching Brown. staff for IU Southeast felt like that was an intentional yep. foul. And in some situations, DA would have been called. Under 17 minutes to play here, though, 56-50. Boy, the Cats having a tough time down in South Carolina. 62-46. Young team does not like the road. And uh, no call on it. Tackett says I took a charge. Well, South Carolina has a veteran team, uh, Jamie. They got men on that team, and uh, we're not at the men stage right now at Kentucky, I don't think, because of her age, and we'll see if we'll get there. Strickland knocks down the three. Oh, that's a big three, man. That keeps Alice Lloyd within striking distance. Gains a little bit of that momentum back. They've got to find a way to get a stop, though, minus on this side of the court. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Hendricks with a pump fake kicks it to Brown right there in the same spot, knocks it down. Brown's comfortable. He, one corner to the other, he Can't. shoots it well there. Can't that's his trade third buckets, three. man, when you're trailing. Strickland trying to beat uh, Lauderball, and I think he's going to get called for a bodying up, and yes, he is. That's going to be his second. Ball will be placed on the baseline. Run play one here. Look for Strickland to get it back if the first option's not there. He does, just as I thought he would. And he knocks it down. So that's his third three of the uh, second half. Is that David Adams down there shooting that ball? They've got to have him, guys. They've got to have Strickland from Kingsport, Tennessee, to shoot that basketball. And the Hendricks trying to take Strickland off. Makes room, and it rolls in. Nobody's missing, guys. Nobody is missing at the present time. That's 13 for uh, Hendricks. And it's a Hendrick Strickland show as he launches. Nope, he pump fakes and knocks it down again. So 
Strickland has decided, give me the ball and I'm going to take care of it. But you got to stop them on this end. Got to have 15 some 15 minute mark. Somebody got to step up and say, I'm going to get you on this end of the court. Oh, and that's going to be a foul on Strickland. That's going to be his third. Oh, and he wasted one there, guys. He umogged him. That's that what he done. He umogged him. <laughs> to bring up the wrestling terminology, 14.57 to play here in the second half, down four. Did not want that foul. Nope. We'll take a break. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Home sweet home. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we've been providing our friends and neighbors the sweet dream of home ownership since 1960. We're proud to support the community we work and live in. That's why we take so much pride in providing competitive rates, low closing costs, and quick turnaround by local decision makers. Investing and growing our community is what we do. At First Federal Savings and Loan of Hazard, we believe that there's no place like our home. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Problem is, I you South. Back we are, 63-59, and uh, Magnus was talking about during the break. Uh, Three Al point Floyd. shootouts. Yeah. How yep. many is I you ended up with so far? They've got four three pointers already, and Al Floyd has five to start out with under the first. Uh, nice this may be pointers. a tray shootout, like you mentioned. Well, let's put the basketballs in every corner and see who can shoot it out. Earlier today, we saw a three-on-two break, and they shot a three out of it. Manus, when did you ever see that coming back in your prime time? <laughs> On a three-on-two break, earlier they pulled up and shot a three. Yeah, yeah. remember back me and David's time, they didn't have a three-point line. I wasn't going to make you that old, my friend. <laughs> I pretended they had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And that's going to be, uh, if it is, that's on good. Reed. That is on Reed. That's going to be his third. And really, Ray got back to check under. In. You're right, and man. He uh, had nowhere to go there, but over a little body contact. Got a benefit of the call as he oh misses my. the first, and Napier gets those. Check in. And he's going with uh, wheels. So from Pee Wee all the way up to the pros, you got to bend your knees, get underneath that ball. He shot that one straight up now. Gotta no a, chance at all. Got to put your finger in the cookie jar. Yes, sir. And he does that time, but he rolls out and had away with a rebound. The Two lid was still misses. on the jar. It's the only problem that time. Two big misses there. Bartaball with a spin, kicks it back. Nice pass to Brown. Brown short on it. Brown don't miss many, guys. You got them on their heels, though. Take it to the basket here. Brown goes up and... No call. A lot of contact both ways. No call on it. As Johnson will come into the basketball game, and he'll come in for Hathaway. They started off early in the game tonight. Hathaway Kyle Strickland, he pump fakes and goes up and under and scores. Smart play by Strickland. Nice they, move. When they full fronted and did not have their eye on the basketball. Two-point game, guys. And the ball is loose, and it's going to be tied up. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Brown was wanting Jack the Jack. Jack the referee <laughs> Jack went to time the, out, time out. And the we referee says, the ball. jump ball, can't have it. Yep. So that's going to be a turnover. So uh, they both just grinned. Yes. Most, <laughs> and he said, jump ball. I'd take it right at number five with those three fouls. Yep. And Strickland with a pump fake, and he's going to be fouled, and he knocks it down. And that's going to be on, I believe that's going to be on Brown. Strickland just needs to have us come over every game. 
Because when the hometown he 24 to, shows up, he, he shows, shows up. up. Yeah. I'm sure Tedra and uh, Don and uh, uh, Ted would love for us to be over here every he game. shows up. <laughs> As he tries to complete it a little bit short. Oh, he struggled from the line. I'm just not used to that. He's a good free throw shooter. Reed to the goal. It's deflected. Johnson will shoot the deep three, and it's long. Tack it with a rebound. Here goes Strickland. And he goes to the goal, gives it up to Brown, and he, I thought he was fouled, but no call. Now you're playing so hard offensively, you got to make it happen on the other end now, up to 65-63. And this group has made it happen. Kick out the larder ball, and it's short. Rebound comes down to Reed. Reed goes up, misses it. Anderson gives it up to Tackett. Tackett pumps, pumps, goes up and good. Eagles on a run here, and Coach Brown, he's uh, he's still letting his kids go. He's, he's letting them, let them play, play through it. Yep. yep, letting them play through it. Johnson with a jumper, knocks it down. Now he takes a break after the bucket, and he's going to take a full timeout, and we will as well. 67-65. Eagles by two. Some may see you as victims, and no doubt you have lost much and endured even more. But we at KRCC see you as the strong and resilient survivors that you are, and our team stands ready side by side with you as you rebuild your lives and we help rebuild the communities that we all hold so dear. If you need our help, please call KRCC at 1-800-262-7491 or stop by any KRCC location and ask for help. Harris CC cares. Go ahead, let's go to the scoreboard, Jamie, with some scores. Oh, it's a tough night to be a Wildcat fan. 66-49, five minutes to play in that one. South Carolina Leedy. And how about Louisville and Duke? We talked a little bit about that earlier. Number 12 Duke leads Louisville 70 to 60. About six minutes left in that one as well. Wisconsin and Minnesota. The is it the Gophers? Either way, they just took the lead. 58, 57. You're what talking about, about 30 seconds to play in that one. Badgers. The Badgers. The Badgers. So yes, sir. Playing yes. the Golden Gophers. One point ball game. Wisconsin trailing Minnesota. Right now, got a good one here. 67, 65. Two point contest as Alice Lloyd gets the inbounds with the lead. And Strickland has. Aided that with his uh, scoring ability and uh, we'll run the double stack. He pump fakes, step back, misses it. Rebound comes down to Brown. And a 2 3 now, the Eagles are. Lauder ball deep in the corner. Rose Johnson with the rebound, doesn't go. Strickland with another board. Somebody else got to step up here, though. Yeah, Strickland's getting a lot of attention now, guys, when he makes a move or a drive. He's getting help on defense. And that's going to be oh. a foul and one. And I wonder if we're going to go. Uh, yeah, it's going to count, and he's going to go to the line for one. And... I thought that was close, guys. It was to be in. It could yeah. have been an intentional. You're right. Had he not made it. Yeah. We're going to get him to come over and talk about it here. And you Make know, sure everybody stays on the, <laughs> on the good side. And the thing about it is we'd be sitting for two minutes if we were watching for a review on that. In uh, Division One, as Tackett knocks down and makes the old-fashioned three. 70-65 now, Eagles. Lotter ball with a kick out to Hendricks. Hendricks with a jumper, knocks it down. Nice shot there, 70-68. Two two it wasn't late. necessarily bad defense there, guys. No. Napier was up there, he just made a nice shot. That's 10 in the uh, half for uh, Hendricks. 
Tackett with the spin, nowhere to go. Tackett's got to kick that out. Yeah, I know does. he made a nice move the previous trip, but if it's not there, don't force it. And he steals it from Hendricks, two on one, gives it up to Landon Napier. Napier, good. Floater. <laughs> Napier with a smile. He knew that was a tough shot. Give him 12. Getting down now to play a little defense. It's contagious, guys. When you play D, your teammate will step up and play with you, too, a lot of times. Cut by Brown, blocked by Strickland. Doesn't have odds, but he'll pull up and shoot the three, misses it. Long gets his own rebound, kicks it. Was it deflected? No. Oh, Official my. Official said no, it was not deflected. I don't know why Napier didn't go after that, though. It was near him. Want that yeah. one? You gotta. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Sometimes you can let your excitement get the best of you. I'll tell you one thing. It's a small lineup, but this one here is a, a quick lineup. They got Napier playing the three with Curry and Keith Lee in, inside. Yeah. yeah. Lauder ball gives it up to Hendricks, who gives it up to Davenport. Did not want to take that shot. Hendricks to Davenport. Reed on the baseline. Hendricks with a pump fake gets Anderson up in there. Jumper misses it. Curry with a rebound, protects it. And there's going to be a foul. 13, uh, that will be uh, Lauderball will pick up his third foul. And that will be their fifth team foul. Just over 10 minutes left in the game. 72-68. Both teams. Uh, I want to be wrong, but I got yeah. a feeling there could be a lot of free throws taken in this one, fellas. <laughs> Very well, could be, Jamie. We're two away from a one and one, and it's getting a little fifty out there. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh. Brown with a step back three. No. Rebound comes down to Anderson, who's. Smallest guy on the floor gets the rebound. Leaping, 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 landing with two. Napier playing with a lot of confidence, guys, when he gets shoot the ball. Give him 14. Davenport just doesn't want to take that shot. And that's going to be a steal. Curry with the steal. Well, you got numbers. Take that to the rim. You had numbers. Why would you hold that up? Anderson with the in and out dribble, gives it up to Keithley, and uh, it's going to be a foul. And I believe that may be on Hathaway, and it is. And it's Hathaway's third foul. There's that media timeout. Got Strickland a little break during it. Yeah. And now he'll get back on the court and hopefully pick up where he left off. Absolutely. We'll take a timeout as well. Stay with us. Good basketball at the Prairie Center. want to watch the game. That turned on the ceiling fan, use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do, but with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. When it comes to your family's health care, making the right connection is easy with just a call, click, or visit to one of Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation's clinics serving Eastern Kentucky and Southwest Virginia. Our providers cover the full spectrum of medicine for the whole family, as well as specialty and support services, such as pulmonary, optometry, dentistry, and podiatry, plus on-site labs, x-rays, nutritionist, and more. Call today for an appointment or telehealth visit. Now accepting Virginia Medicaid. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation. Hey. And welcome back. And we want to thank our crew tonight, guys. Uh, they always do a great job. Devin Combs on control, Josh Corning on the camera, and uh, them guys make it easy to do this. They do everything that's supposed to be done. Of course, Devin did a lot of football broadcasting this year. He got lazy for basketball and decided to drink water and do controls. But that's all right. Hey, he opened up a spot for me, so I'm glad he did. He <laughs> needed to take a little break. Well, he told me he had to do it because he had to get it done right. So uh, we'll just do it that I've way. I've enjoyed it, guys. I've had a ball with you, and we believe the people at home have benefited more than anything. Free throw off the I mark for Keith Lee. Oh, you got to have them. It's yeah. too important. How many did you say you had to make the other day when you were in practice? 100. 
Oh, my. Do they shoot 100 now? No. He made that one. 75, 68, hey, seven listen, point lead. That's a, it's hey. a, oh, I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> it's getting crucial here. Oh, well, you can I'm tell it. The center. popcorn's getting a little more salty here, fellas. Oh, and, and that's going to be a foul, foul on Curry. Curry. Guys, I thought Tosin come in and play pretty well. He had energy. And, and that's going to be the second on Curry. Alice Lloyd's fourth now, if we look on the board, too. Six fouls for them, four for Alice Lloyd. Reed with a jumper, Banks Curry's off. Long Hendricks long. with a rebound. <laughs> Hendricks to Strong to the goal, got the contact, didn't get the foul, and they're going to say Hathaway knocked it out of bounds. You won't get the foul if you... Go away from the defense, guys, and fall down. Patience, patience, patience. And I'm not talking about the kind that your son likes to see over at the clinic. I'm talking about being patient with the basketball now. You're up seven. Right yeah. a little play here. Yeah. Uh, Strickland off the double screen. I mean, Curry off the double screen. Strickland with the basketball. Strickland goes to the baseline, nowhere to go. Kicks it to Anderson almost over top of his head. Keithley says, I'll set the screen for you. Anderson, nowhere to go. Knocked out of his hands, three, two, one, got it. Anderson, a little music, Pimple Pass. Everybody smiling from ear to ear on that play. Eight minutes to play, 77-68. And Alice Lloyd it. leading. And he knew how much time was on the shot clock and got it off. And uh, Brown with a shot, he's got it. Boy, if Brown don't miss in the They're corner. They're not going to be out of the ball game as long as he's on the court, fellas. That's this one fourth. far from over. Four three pointer. Strickland gives it up to Keithley on the pick go, oh, and it's going to be a foul. Looks like on Hadaway, and that's going to be his fourth. He got behind the offensive player and thought he could reach, and a lot of body and. He got caught. You can't get behind the offensive player going down the lane, guys. But they executed the, the pick and roll really, really well. You got to take him out, right, with those four? I this a lot of time I, left, fellas. You know, you know, ever since six minutes in the first half, he's been coming in and playing very few minutes. So I, I don't know. Uh, Coach Brown may leave him and let, see what happens. Evidently, he's, gonna, he's going he's to. He's leaving him out there. Keithley rolls up and down, it comes in. Still yet a three possession game though with that one. You'll take it. Absolutely. I think the Eagles got to identify and Davenport misses the long, uh, he's just struggling to look in, uh, on the three. Napier from way downtown, misses it. Rebound comes Too down. Too early Reed. into that shot clock. Too early into that clock. Reed goes up. It's blocked. Hadaway with the return and puts it in. Nice hustle by the big guy. You're up five. Slow down. Get a play off of a set play. Everybody's got to get a touch. Unless you've got an isolation going and there's Strickland. And he bounces it to Curry for the deep three. Got it. Curry with a real nice three. Well, that's a beautiful pass from Strickland all the way over to him in that far corner. Almost out of bounds. There's that Brown again, and it's a little bit short. And Napier oh, touches go get it. it with two hands. You got to go grab it with both of them big paws. Put a little glue on the oh, hands. My. Absolutely. As Tackett will come in for Keith Lee and Larderball will come in. Uh, he'll come in for Davenport. Have we got it? Yes, sir. 638, 638. Little I believe I got excited oh, on that play. Oh, there's oh. Brown. Mr. Brown has been all night in the corners, guys. That's his fourth three-pointer of the second half. Give him 15 for the game. He warmed up enough to melt the snow, but he's still got ice water in his veins. 81-76, and uh, each possession is crucial for each team. Anderson with it. Attack it for the three, knocks it down. Well, that's a nice, nice pass, though. Koji drove it into the heart of the zone, kicked it out. That all started with a nice pass. 
Give Tackett 15 as Larder Ball goes up with a three short. Rebound to Hendricks. There's the man Brown over there. You cannot leave him. I'm surprised he didn't look at the rim. No, he guys. did not. Well, he's not Seven. over yet. <laughs> Seven on the shot clock. Larder Ball, it's and rebound's gonna go off and it will stay with the uh, IU Southeast. It looks and like I used kind of panicking a little bit, guys. Little They're bit, behind, yeah. and uh, they look like they have to take a shot sometimes, even in the crowd. That was, that was a rough shot by, by number 13. That's Brown comes uh, in now for uh, Lane Napier. Lob to Reed. Reed goes up and puts it in. 24, 84, 78, 24 points for uh, Reed. Curry from way downtown. Oh, might have been a little bit early. It was. It was early. <laughs> it was early. Hendricks uh, Anderson bodying up to it. Skip pass to Johnson. Johnson to that man Brown, and it's short. Check the ball. Something's wrong, guys. As good as look as he's had all night, and he missed that one. Dribble by Strickland. Gives it up to Brown. Brown to tack it, tack it with the three. Knocks it down. Boys, tack it is come up huge three times. For Made the an extra pass there. The Eagles done a good job sharing the ball there, Manus. And one. That's a, one more pass. 18 for Tackett. Jackson Tackett. Logan, West Virginia guy. Hendricks with a runner. Got it. Uh, Hendricks has said, I'm going to take over. Anderson walks it up. Tackett faces up against the big guy. Nowhere to go. Sealed off. Tough catch by Curry to Strickland. Pump fakes, goes to the baseline, gives it up. Tackett, good. Nice pass. I'd love to know how many points that Strickland has scored or had an assist on. There's been a bunch of them, my friend. Attaway to the goal, a lot of contact. No call. Curry with the three, got it. <laughs> Curry says, give me the rock, I'm ready to shoot. Strickland with uh, trying to catch his breath underneath after Hathaway runs into him. Hendricks up, misses it. Rebound comes down to Tackett. Outlet to Curry, who is open, goes up and misses it. And of course, he had to. He that was the correct call. Johnson had to be inside. The Guys, low Jared feet. has still yet not left the other end of the court. I don't think he has enough energy to lay. Well, uh, he, he failed to, too. Yeah. Early. Might have got the wind knocked out of him. I hope that's at least what happened. Alice Lloyd leading by 12, 92 to 80, 313 to play. You know, there's still a lot of time to go here, guys. Uh, I mean. I couldn't tell you when the last yeah. time was that I was up 12 and still yet didn't feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, and this is one of those games, especially with a team that shoots a three ball extremely well, and this team does that. And they're very capable of getting a steal or two and limiting you to one shot at that end. But to be honest with you, I thought the Eagles has outworked them in the second half, guys. Oh, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, they yes, really sir. have. Yeah, just been an effort. Extra passes, diving on the floor down here by two guys. Yeah. And somehow has managed to out-rebound this team in the second half, man. And, and Brown has missed some of those shots that he was hitting earlier. Uh, you know, when you look at it, Nelson just now comes in the basketball game. I'm sure that's there for the shooting of the free throws and ball ball handling. Uh, when you look at who's in the game right now, got to be real careful. Jack Brown uh, shooting 50%. So I'm sure that Coach Brown's got all those statistics. He's been looking at his little white piece of paper that he pulls. And that's what I used to do when I knew that that was my free throw. Who I was going to foul on the free throw line. So here we go, 313, 92 to 80. 
difference in the game. Second half is is more or less. Uh, Alice Lloyd has shot the basketball extremely well. I think. Twenty two assists. Twenty two assists to only nine turnovers. You'll take that too as a coach for Alice Lloyd. Absolutely. Yes, you will. And uh, we'll see what they set up here. Is twenty seconds after the uh, team rebound underneath. Hendricks on Strickland. Anderson with a shot, no foul. Anderson, he wanted one. Anderson probably should have given that up. And, and now it's going to be a foul on Strickland. Didn't you think so, guys? Anderson yes, should have bounced that over to the left side for well, his teammate. He drove teammate. down the heart of it, saw Strickland. the lane, and right, he had options on both sides. Yeah. And that's going to be four oh, on Strickland. My, that's big for Strickland as he, he picks up his fourth. Coach Cornett will probably set him back, and Coach Cornett will have to play a little zone, guys, uh, and match up because of that. Reed actively to the goal. Nice move, finger roll. Jarrett made a pretty good decision there. Lift to well, play a little bit longer rather than pick up that field J foul. Jarrett needs to go on the wing and play the defense and move. Uh, 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 Jason the inside there, uh, tack it inside on the paint. Do you think so, Jamie? Yeah, I agree with that 100%. But right now, if you're Alice Lloyd, the clock's your friend. Yes, Let it that is. that thing keep ticking up 10. Yeah. Strickland, five with a fight away. Got oh, it. my. <laughs> Plays a little music. Pimp pass. <laughs> hey, my. Michael Jordan like and uh, Curry with a lot of uh, and tack it with a steal. Gives it up to Brown. Brown with a behind the pass to Anderson. Oh, and he does decision. the right Gra thing. Great decision right there, young man. You get some extra playing time with a coach doing stuff like that. And that's what you point guards out there for, to be the lead person. As they give it up to Strickland with nine seconds on the shot clock. Got to make a move, though, now. Five. Four, gets the shot off, misses it, doesn't hit the rim. No, it's the right call. Yeah. And that's a 30-second violation as uh, Davenport will come in now. And uh, I'm not sure who's going out. Hendricks is going out. Hmm. Coach, you going to come up and apply just a little pressure, perhaps? I would think so. And then, yeah, I would have, yeah. yeah. They'll roll it down if you don't watch them and save three or four seconds. Alice Gotta Lloyd go. does have a foul to give, too. Brown. It's, I think it was deflected as Curry gets the rebound. And I believe they're going to run some clock now. As Double uh, post, guarantee it. And yes, sir, they're going to stack them up. Double stack at the free throw line. And... Uh, Checking the foul, uh, and uh, Strickland gives it up to uh, Anderson. Got to make you move at seven, though. Anderson with it, has it. He's a little going. late to get started. Down the lane he goes, and he's going to draw the foul. And that's going to be on Brown, and that foul comes at an inopportune time. Might have bailed him out there. He could have easily been called for a walk. And Nelson is now going to come in. I said he was coming in, but he came up to check on things as Brown goes out of the basketball game. That's a smart move, too. Brady's their best free throw shooter, so you know that anytime time Alice Lloyd throws it in, they're going to look for him. 93% on the season is Anderson. Guys, I was 73. impressed with Anderson tonight. He did a great job, but Mr. Strickland, he just sets the tone for everybody to go do their job. Big he has win. willed them to this win if they have hold on to this 14-point lead. And Jackson Tackett has played an outstanding game as well. Oh, gosh, he has. He's played well. Undersized against Hathaway. Once, and a, once again, Landon Napier played well. Yeah, he did, Denver. indeed. A lot of people. Local kid. You two guys, extra love. if the Eagles hold it's on, Strickland. you two need to decide who. It's Strickland, I would think, right, Manus? I don't know, Strickland or Tackett, I, 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 kind of a toss-up. 48.4 seconds to play. Either way, we'll get a talk to uh, one of the And I kind of like Anderson, game. too. I like Anderson. Would be no problem with Koji Anderson, either. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guys decide. Oh, it's so tough tonight, guys. I'm putting it back to you, D.A. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Oh, man. 
And Strickland is fouled. And that's going to be on Davenport. He goes in to tie it up, and Strickland says, you're not doing that tonight. I'm going to bring this ball up to my chin and protect it. Um, uh, Strickland goes to the line. He's got 21 on the night. We may let the station, we may let the control guys pick who they think the MVP now. <laughs> it's so close. It's so close. Strickland with 10 rebound and 22 points. So, guys, a double-double is hard to go against. What's Tackett got? Tackett yes, has five is. boards and 20 points. So, you're not going to go wrong with either one of them. We have four guys in double digits. Needed every one of them as Alice Lloyd leads it 98-83. And the foul is going to be on uh, Strickland, and that's going to be his night. His fifth and final foul. Jerry, the big ball game, no question about it, out of Kingsport, Tennessee. Let's and go with Strickland. We'll go with Strickland. He'll come up and chat with, with us for a minute. Won't decision. go wrong either way. You're right, my yeah. friend. Yeah. I like those baseball cards, though. So the, the more people we pick, different people, the more yeah. cards I'm going to get at the end of the season, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, we'll try to get him to make his way up here. After the game, get a word with him real quick before we get off and uh, wonder about our next game coming up. We'll see how that goes. And Nelson's going to be called for a walk. He tried to give it up, but it's a slick spot. Teammates got to know where he's at, too. Everybody quick to hustle back, but you got to know where your buddy's at with the basketball there, too. Yeah. Alice Lloyd will play midway, their next matchup. And Coach Corner says, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. And there's no That's really the no use of uh, fouling because uh, this one's over. And uh, seven seconds on the clock, 98 to 85. Looks like will be the final big 13 point win for the Eagles, and there it is. And uh, I guess we'll have Mr. Strickland come up, and uh, when we get a chance, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll try to have our player of the game. Stay with us. A lot has changed in 100 years. We've gone from the Model T to the electric car, from silent film to home theaters, and from the telegram to the iPhone. And through it all, People's Bank and Trust of Hazard has been there for local people. From paper checks to debit cards, from wire transfers to online banking, People's Bank has maintained a tradition of service while embracing the future for your financial needs. Celebrating a century of service to the mountains, People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Come on up. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. Welcome back to the Prairie Center on the campus of Alice Lloyd College where Alice Lloyd is just victorious over the IU Southeast, 98-285, a big 13-point win. Jared Strickland will be one of our players of the game, the player of the game, and uh, I want to congratulate you on a great Thank game. You. Jamie, when you're hot, play. you're hot. When you're hot, And you're you hot. were tonight, brother. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah. What was going through your mind when you saw that first couple buckets fall in? I mean, it was it was the whole team. They saw the first couple buckets go in. They said, hey, Jared's hitting them. Let's keep giving it to them. And they all, everybody chipped in, tried to give it to me, and I was knocking them down. It was a whole team effort. You had a stretch to where you scored or got an assist on about every bucket for about 12, 15 points. I love the fact that you were getting everybody else involved as well. Yes, sir. Well, you know, Ben being out with his foot, Ben, he's he's the best in the conference and driving in and finding an open man. And since he was missing tonight, we needed – 
you know, more than one. It wasn't just me tonight, but everybody to just look for the open man, and we were doing it tonight. So. Barrett, it looks like Ben's going to have to be out a week or so. He's just, uh, he really just couldn't yeah. go at all. I want, hey, what was the difference of the second half and the first half? Y'all picked up intensity. I thought you played physical. I thought you, you guarded better. What, what went well, on there? Well, I mean, because we were up 10 the first half, and we blew it and was down three at halftime. And everybody was just, you know, we were pissed off in the locker room. And Coach came in there saying our defense, I mean, we let them score 47 in the first half. Yeah. So he got on to us and showed us a couple things, you know, to do on defense, and that's what we did. Did you shoot like this in Kingsport, Tennessee, <laughs> or did you have to come to Pippa Pass? I had to, to come to Pippa. I didn't, I had there to. you go. Everything's good at home, man, oh, and yeah. congratulations. Again, let's get his teammate in here. Yeah. It's been a while since we had two of you play so well. We're going to get both of you in here. But, again, Perfect. give some shout-outs out to some people down in volunteer country. Hey, everybody, everybody in Kingsport, my family, everybody, Coach Poor at DB, everybody. At, Everybody. All right. Big game out of Jared Strickland here at, for the Al Lloyd College Eagles on Hometown 24. Jason Tackett will come in. Uh, Jackson, I, I want to say this. Uh, I thought you shot it well the second half, big guy. Yeah, uh, that's something that I have really picked up here recently. You know, coaches got us doing unbelievable shooting drills, 30 an hour, and it's really helped me out a lot this year. Nothing comes easy against this team, though. They oh, have right. so much – we have so much respect for them and vice versa, and they made you guys earn everything you got here tonight. Oh, yeah, they're a big, big physical team. We know uh, Hendricks was a great player. You know, he started out a little slow. I think he got, he told me he got in a little trouble before his game. That's why he didn't start. But, yeah, we knew he was a, we knew they was big and physical, and he was a great player. Him and uh, Lambar or whatever his name is, we knew they, we had to keep up on them for sure. I noticed your defense in the second half was a big difference in the game. I thought oh, yeah. you had good pressure on the shooters down here. Offensively, I thought you had good spacing. You you rotated the ball well, and you shared the ball well. Yeah, uh, after the two big losses we had uh, a couple of days ago, Coach really sat us down and talked to us about just everything, our field, pro, field goal percentage, our defense. So this game coming into it, we did a little Pac-Man, you know, to slow them down, and uh, it, it helped. Whatever you ate, yeah. whatever you done before <laughs> the game, do Keep exactly it. the same Keep thing, bro. That's, right. That's right. Give some shout-outs out to some people tuning uh, in tonight. I know my mom's watching. You know, I, my family's probably watching. I want to give a shout-out to Coach. You know, I'm a freshman. He come in. He let me play. He believed in me. Then all my teammates, Koji, Brady, Ben, I hope he gets better. Jared, I don't care. He's the best player in the conference no matter what. Look what he does. You That's guys it, really. keep sharing it yeah. and playing like this. Congratulations, I appreciate Jackson. I appreciate Jack it. it on, uh, great game for Al Slower. Appreciate you, big guy. See if I can't get my friend to join us here oh, from Hyden, Kentucky. He always gets the headsets after they're real sweaty, but tonight yeah. he won't even complain it about it. It don't matter. I'm glad they are sweaty. Oh, nasty boys. <laughs> Scott Cornett, the head coach of the Eagles. Coach, I thought the first half and the second half, all through the game, I thought your team had good effort, and I thought they shared the ball well tonight, too, at times when they had to. They did. We had we had jumped out to a 10-point lead about midway through the first half and looked good, and then all of a sudden we just we took a couple of bad shots, and then we got a little sloppy on defense, and then we blew that 10-point lead, and I wasn't too happy about that at halftime. And you know, we got to decide if we're going to play defense or not, if we're going, if we're going to do the things that we need to do and do right. Yeah. And uh, they responded. Pretty well from the halftime. Coach, thought, I so. think it's 24, 25 assists, though. That's, that's pretty – how you, how you ask for much more than that, though? Now, let's that's, break there, that's too. That's what you and need. And you that's, were right there with them on the rebounding level. You had some players step up that had to tonight. And and this still shows what you've told me all along. You said, I like my team, and you guys are capable of playing with anybody. We are. We, we have some depth. You know, Devontae got hurt tonight, probably got a severe concussion. You know, Ben's, Ben's been struggling. He's been out now almost two weeks. And, you know, Jack had a concussion a few weeks ago. So we, we've been the injury bug has, has kind of caught us. It did last year, too, and we just kind of caught up with us again. We've, we've been okay until here lately, but all of a sudden it's getching us. But we, you know, we've got Five players in double figures. That's Two guys had double doubles. Another one was close to it. Again, this is a pretty good performance, and I've been here for all of them. Right. I was impressed with this one. Well, yeah. you know, that's that's a heck of a ball club. You know, anytime you beat them, they just they've beat Cumberland already. They've beat Point Park, who's number one in our in our conference right now. They've also beat Georgetown this year. So Cumberlands. They beat, they beat the Cumberlands. They yeah. did. So Cumberland's ranked 12th in the country. It was undefeated. Point Park was undefeated at the time. And ranked in the top 20, and they knocked them off, and they also knocked Georgetown off, who was ranked third, I think, in the country then. So, you know, they're, they're capable of beating anybody, and, and Hendricks was the key. We had to stop him tonight. 
Yeah. And we give up some things. Brown hit some shots against us, but we, we just had to pick our poison because we couldn't let him. He's got 40 over four games this year. So we just said we just got to take our chances and see if somebody else can beat us. And yeah. luckily, we you know, luckily we did what we had to do. Coach, it looks like Ben's going to have to have at least a week of rest. He, he was nowhere near able to even – no, he, he said he could go, and so we, we didn't start him for that reason because I was still a little leery about it. And then we, and then I was early, I said, well, let's give him a try and see. And then he made about two trips, and that's it. He was, yeah. He's not I ready. I like the fact, though, that he was big enough to come and say, Coach, I just yeah, don't have did. it. I yeah. watched him walk over to yeah. you. Coach, it's easy to talk about Jared and, and uh, the other big man's performance, but all across the board, I felt like we had a lot of players step up and play some of their best games as well. Landon Napier, one of those guys. Uh, we, we've got a couple different players. Of course, uh, I think Anderson played as good as we've seen him in a while, and, and we'll take a bunch more of that. Well, you know, Koji, we didn't start Koji tonight, and he's been starting. That's the Koji that we thought we recruited, and he's – he struggled a little bit with his confidence, and he hasn't been playing well. And so we talked the other day, and, and he actually said, Coach, maybe just coming off the bench might be good for me. And I said, well, actually, Coach, we've decided that we thought that might also be good for you. Let's give it a try. And he seemed to come in more relaxed tonight and played like himself. So mm -hmm. I thought he was big tonight. I thought Landon was big. I thought Curry was big. Uh, Wilgus came in and gave us some good minutes. Blaine gave us some good minutes. We had a lot of people. Devontae was playing well before he got hurt. I, I just was really pleased with the effort and the attitude. And Complete I, I just team we effort, do. Coach and That's Garnett. what it takes. That's what it mm -hmm. takes. And, you know, to win Complete this league, it's a, it's a it's a dogfight every night. It's very competitive, and it's very physical. And you got to – it's a man's game at this level, so you've got to be ready to go. <laughs> but it back to Strickland, Coach, I don't know if I've seen a player have a better five-minute stretch than he had here. He either scored or had an assist on every bucket that was scored for about a five-minute stretch. So that's pretty impressive. He, he took the game over for us and made some big, big shots and then made some big plays because he got other people some buckets as well. Yeah. Jackson made some big buckets as well when – and uh, Jackson, is, if Jackson was 6'6", he wouldn't he be something special? He's, he's, he's trying to play he center, and he's indeed. about 6'3", but, boy, he's got some heart. And he's got some nice moves around the bucket. I just wish he's about three or four inches taller than he would be a load. Cause, <laughs> but I tell you, he, he, uh, he just plays so hard. And i got a great bunch of kids, guys. I'll tell you, I do. i got a great bunch of kids. And they're, just, they're fun to coach. Uh, I ain't saying it's always – they probably don't think that about me. They give you 100% tonight, my man. Yeah, they do. They some, play hard some, for me. Some kids are young men down in Georgia watching us with the Savannah Bananas. How cool is that tonight? Yeah, his we name is Dalton Cornett. Dalton Cornett. Yeah, we had to Playing put up with him. baseball was even watching tonight. Who Good win for everybody. <laughs> That's Kim Cornett. Kim, Kim Cornett's baby boy. boy. <laughs> but I want to congratulate you, Coach, you. on a great game tonight against IU. Always, they've got a great ball team. And when you come in and put one on them, you, you're good, going in the right direction. And for the man. record, you're undefeated when David's in the building well, this I year. I said that. I, 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 mean, I told Josh I, you guys are going to have to come back next well, year. Well, we, so we're <laughs> glad to come over, and we're glad you let us come over. We yeah, appreciate you're that. You're welcome every I time. I want a seven and five-eighths hat. Real soon yeah. now. That's a bucket hat. That's a bucket. He says <laughs> that every time I, I ask for a bucket hat. <laughs> they don't Come. make them that big unless you yes, get they special do. made. <laughs> I've got about five of them. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate you, Thank buddy. You Coach appreciate Scott Cornett of the Alice Lloyd College Eagles, and that's going to do it from Pippa Pass, Alice Lloyd 98, IU 85. We hope you join us the next time out right here on Hometown 24. For Devin Combs on control, Josh Cornett on camera. And my man, Jamie Hughes, and Manus Blair, I'm Dave Adams. We'll catch you at the next game. Have a good night, everyone.